Good morning, everybody. Happy uh, Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. I am excited to be here, but my body is wrecked. I uh, went and got my I, I went and got my flu shot yesterday, and I woke up this morning just feeling creaky, like an old creaky robot, like the Tin Man from The Wizard of Oz before he got all the oil. Just every joint is creaky. And so then I worked out this morning to try and loosen myself up, but now I'm creaky and my muscles are sore. So I'm just not feeling, uh, I'm feeling a little wrecked this morning. But I'm okay. Uh, I'm thrilled to be live with Starfield with you all today. Today is September 6th and you know what that means. It's available for everyone. That's right. Anyone can buy it and download it and install it for the full price. And uh, the, the, that means that the uh, early access is over, essentially, is what it means. So we all have access to the same game now. So if you're thrilled to be diving in, uh, I'm thrilled to be diving in along with you. Hopefully my broadcasts over the past week have uh, given you the information you needed to decide whether or not you wanted to buy the game. Good to see everybody on Facebook today. Ruby, Harold, Garrett, Toby, and of course, all of the regulars and the members and the Patreon supporters on YouTube today. Alt Grendel, The Dark Clarine, John Washburn, Slatty Bartfast, uh, Julian Z, Zartu, and it's Jason Stanley with the first super chat in the chat today. Uh, spending my lunch break with Oxhorn and chat. Starfield has been great. Keep it up. Thank you very much. Jason Stanley, that's Jason's first super chat. Thank you, Jason. No Name says, yes, it was the flu shot, not the fact that you were up at 3 a.m. yesterday. <laughs> that was my appointment that I was telling you about. I, I was up at 3 a.m. yesterday, and I did my four-hour live stream. I made sure the kids got to the buses on, on time, and, and then I crashed. I think I napped for two or three hours and then I got up and I went and took the entire family to go to get flu shots and then of course we had dinner and then bedtime routine and story and by the time the kids were asleep I was just out I was out like a light I think I went to bed at 8 30 yesterday I was so tired but uh I got some good sleep I slept all through the night no interruptions and I felt you know aside from the body being creaky I felt good but yeah, it's just the creaky. You just gotta gotta get rid of the creaky. Come on. In our last episode, we tried to do this Mantis quest. I feel like we've been trying to do the Mantis quest for two or three broadcasts now, but um, we discovered that we didn't have enough fuel to go directly to the location of the quest, so we had to jump between star systems. And upon landing on one star system, we came face to face with a 200-year-old colony ship from Earth that apparently left the planet before the grav drive was even invented. And so we got sidetracked by trying to help these people find a place to live. But we did that. We completed that last uh, yesterday. I'm really interested to see how the world changes because of that. I'm hoping they they put some of, put more into the world because of that. Like, are we going to get random encounters? What happens to the girl whom we convinced to leave the ship? Will we find her in a random encounter later? Does she become a pirate? Can she be recruited, recruited to one of our colonies later? Um, do they ever find a home? Like, these are all the questions I would love to have answered. So far, they're still just in orbit around the original planet. So I'm hoping to see that story evolve. But to make sure, to make absolutely sure that we were going to do the Mantis quest today... I made sure that I logged off in orbit around the correct planet. So we're there, we're where we need to be to actually continue with that quest. Then after that, uh, if we complete that, depending on how long it is, if we have more time, we'll do Into the Unknown, which is a primary plot uh, quest. And I really want to get through the primary plot because 
if I know anything about the side content in these games, it's that you can do um, side quests at any time, really. And I'm thinking that side quests are going to give the world, the, the, the afterplot gameplay, much more um, life, really. And that's when I can start to work on building my spaceship and building my colonies and so on and so forth. So that's the plan. Julian Z says, good morning, Ox. So good to see you on the Starfield Wednesday. Hope you're well. Have you gotten your Constellation Edition watch yet? I can't wait to see your opinion. I haven't, though I am in communications with the eBay seller who sold it to me for, well, I'm not going to tell you how much I ended up paying for it. But um, yeah, it's on the way. And they gave me the tracking info and all that. So hopefully it'll be here soon. Rachel says, is there a story explanation as to why Barrett has not looked into why his husband uh, felt threatened or the lawsuit against him until 20 years after his death? Yeah, uh, they said that at the beginning. So it's because he was re-listening to some of the that his husband had left him. And he recognized what at first he thought was just a garbled was actually an encoded portion of the tape. So the first time he listened to the slate, you know, back when his husband was still alive, he thought it was just, you know, garbled noise. He didn't realize it was actually encoded. It was only now, 20 years later, going through these messages again, that he discovered it. He had uh, the robot translate it and decode it, and it's then that he begins to realize everything his husband was going through. So that's the story reason why he's not able to act on any of this until just now. Potato Land, who is giving us a first super chat today, thank you very much, Potato Land, says, I finally caught one of these streams. Hey, thank you, Potato Land. Good to see you, my friend. Julian Z says, for your information, while exploring dungeons, you come across red hatches that say emergency access, you can use your cutter to cut the four pins holding it in place to get access to secret rooms or alternate paths. Yeah, I discovered that uh, during my broadcast the day before yesterday, or was it yesterday, when we were on our way to the Red Devils hideout, um, we had to clear out the spacers there, and I found a couple of pods that had one of those doors, and I used my cutter to cut through. It was a lot of fun. Garrett Horsch says, Ox, I recommend romancing one of the four main companions. There are four main companions? I've only got three now, right? So am I missing a companion? Uh, when you sleep, you get a 15% experience bonus when you marry one of them. I have to marry one of them? What if I don't want to marry any of them? What if I, what if I want to sleep around, you know? You know, have, have thoughts on the side? Everybody has side thoughts. Primary thoughts, side thoughts, dreams, musings, etc. Um, Garrett says there's a main quest, nine or ten main faction quest lines, and about a billion side quests. Hundreds of hours of single playthrough. Thank you, Garrett. I know there's a lot that I'm looking forward to. Garrett says you can get divorced. Well, yeah, but just don't get married. Then you don't have to worry about getting divorced. Chat is saying that the mic is cutting in and out. Check, check, check. Test, test, test. Hmm. I'm not getting any of that on my end. Looks pretty solid to me. It might be that I'm talking too loud and there's a little bit of clipping. I turned up the gain on my microphone because everyone had been talking about uh, how my, my voice was too low in every live stream I go through. And I had the gain on my preamp turned, you know, down low enough so that I could talk as loud as I want because I'm naturally a loud talker. I've been accused of that by many people that I just I naturally broadcast. Um, and so uh, when I get this close to the mic, I, unless I have the gain turned really low, I end up clipping, but I turned it up a little bit. So if you hear any, any pops, that's probably what it is. But if it cuts out entirely, then yeah, I'll have to look at that and figure out what's going, what's going on. Art Pixel says, mic is cutting out occasionally. Your mic is going in and out loud and low, says Colonel 87. 
I'm, I'm not seeing any of that on my monitor right now. The Cigar Captain says, Morning Oxen Chat, the reward for this mission is great. Hope you have lots of ammo. I do have a lot of ammo. I've been saving up. Savage Snail says, I'm 60. Watching Ox is like watching my son or nephew enjoy something I am also very much into. Side thought, side quests. Let's do the lot. Yeah, we got side quests and side thoughts. It's a good day. Garrett says, the main quest goes from 0 to 100 quick. I was getting chills quest after quest, and I'm nowhere near the end. All right, Chad is saying it's all, it's all good on the microphone now. Okay, that's great. Well, that's, that's good to learn, Garrett. So far, it's been at like a 15. Like, we, have, we haven't uh, gone very fast with the primary plot. It's been slow plotting. But, uh, yeah, I'm glad to hear that it picks up a bit. Cleansed in Fire says, popping in to say hi. Been enjoying the Starfield videos. As a PS5 gamer, you are my only way to enjoy this game. Gonna finish my book back at one. Thank you, Cleansed in Fire. Enjoy your book. Mind Magic Studio says, could you please repeat the story of uh, Barrett? The audio went out during. Okay. Uh, the reason why Barrett hasn't um, acted on his husband's problem for 20 years is because, remember, uh, the only reason he learned about it is he was going through some old slates. After we brought up his husband and he started to feel nostalgic, he went through his old slates, and in one of the audio recordings, he heard an encoded transmission. When he went through the slates 20 years ago, he thought it was just garbled noise. It was only now, 20 years later, that he realized this is an encoded trans transmission. And so he had um, Vosco translate it, and it's only then, after translating the encoded or uh, uh, part of the holotape or the slate, that he realized what had happened. So this is all new to Barrett. What happened 20 years ago, this is news to him. Ah, come on. Okay. Let's continue. Right, here we are. This is where the quest destination sent us. We appear to be in orbit around a planet called Denbola 1B. Uh, and there's a secret outpost here that we need to go to. Oh, it's actually a moon. It's a moon around this planet, Denbola 1. I see. Wow, look at that star. That looks great. Asteroids. There's another one. There's Denbola 2. And Denbola 3. Gosh, these names. <laughs> I would get lost with these names. Um, Anonymous says, Hiya, Ox. Love your videos. You let me live vicariously through you. I haven't played much video games since before my boys were born. Stay classy. Thank you, Anonymous. Happy to be there for you. Mr. Master Chief says, Woo! Here we go. Starfield. Full version. Been waiting for like six or seven years, and now it's finally here. I know, right? I'm thrilled that you're thrilled. And Colonel 87th says, Does anyone own an Xbox Series X? And how does it handle this game? Thinking about getting one. Great question. I don't, so I can't answer for you. Uh, but I hope people in the chat will be able to answer that for you. All right, hold on. Before we dive in, let's take a look at our inventory. We're not carrying around too much. Yeah, uh, let's see. Oh, I didn't realize it was suppressed. The XM2311 
that we got during the quest yesterday gave us a suppressed pistol with a laser reflex sight. Wow. Okay, well, I no longer need the suppressed crack in here. Um, let's put it in place of the stealth equinox. This can be my deliverer. <laughs> Uh, and then we've got the regular XM2311. Now, I've got an elemental calibrated Kraken that, uh, let's hold on, let's sort by ammo. It's got the same ammunition type as the Maelstrom. But it is legendary. Space Adapt, 30% damage while in space and 15% damage while on a planet. Rapid, 25% increase in attack speed. Elemental, randomly deals corrosive. Radiation, poison. I mean, this is a great little mid-range weapon. So what have I got here? I've got, I've got this one, which I'm currently using as my sniper rifle. Which I don't really need to use as a sniper rifle anymore now that I've got the legendary... Um, where'd it go? Did I store it? I think I stored it. Okay, so let's deal with our weapons here with the Lawgiver. Yeah, there we go. Lacerate Lawgiver. I mean, the problem is that the Lacerate Lawgiver doesn't have a scope. That's why I was using the other one, because it had a scope. Yeah. Uh, well, I really need to find a way to work on my weaponsmithing so I can do that. So in the meantime, we'll store this. What am I using as my mid-range weapon? Um, why do I have the Furious Sidestar favorited? All right, let's just store it for now. Store it. Oh, max capacity already. I need to go to yeah, a shop. So That's right, I've got all this antique stuff that I should sell. All right. Mind Magic Studio became a Silver Ox. Thank you, Mind Magic Studio. Mr. Master Chief says, been playing this on my laptop at about half yay due to mile laggy, but on my stream deck, it was quite okay. Uh, all right, well, I'm glad it's working at least on one of your devices. James says, hey, Ox, just to say you might be able to sell those antiques to the guy in New Atlantis that gave you the plate quest at the beginning. That's right, good idea. I'll have to give that a whirl. Okay, we're by one of the poles of this planet. Life faces some of the same sorts of challenges everywhere. I'm forever Five, fascinated by... Four, get the hell out now! Three... Two... Right. And... Moving on. Yikes, wow, we just landed.
Okay, someone sees me, but they're not hostile. Who was this guy that just charged me? Anti-ballistic calibrated deep core something. Helmet. Charged me with a shotgun. And I guess he was alone? Drum beat, that's a brand new gun. I don't have a drum beat yet. Explore the lair of the mantis. Yeah, can do. Alright, so we got some spacer scum here. I really need a silenced sniper rifle is what I need. Did Barrett fall? Is that Barrett? I think he fell. <laughs> that grenade. He threw it in the complete opposite direction. <laughs> okay. Well, I love this lawgiver. This is so good. I need to put a scope on my my legendary one. This thing is thing of beauty. I knew it was going to be amazing as soon as I picked it up on that remote moon with the terror morph. Okay. Well, they don't need it now. They both had lawgivers. I wish I could compare the um, the other equipment that they have on their uh, inventory with what I've got.
Okay, let me get my little silenced pea shooter here. All right, hold on a second. I want to see how many more stealth kills I need. Whoops, I did wrong here. In order to um, stealth, uh, where is it? Oh, we're stealth. Did I not spec into stealth? I could have sworn I did. Persuasion, scavenging. Oh, there it is. It's in physical. Okay. Uh, challenge progress, 10 of 10. Perform 10 sneak attacks. Okay, so I got this one easy. In my next rank, I can uh, upgrade it. Great. And I'm at 17 of 20 for this one, which is, I, I feel like I've been doing this forever. 20 times use up all available oxygen. That's just awful. I am having a hard time keeping my cigars lit today. Sorry, everybody. Hold on here. Come on. Here I am in 2023 playing an advanced space exploration sim and I have yet to master fire. Lair of the Mantis. My own trident. Rhapsody on a windy night. That's new. The following is a passage from T.S. Eliot's Rhapsody on a Windy Night, one of the poet's earlier, almost cynical works. The lamp hummed. Regard the moon. La lune negard acune rancune. The French are going to hit me after that. She winks a feeble eye. She smiles into corners. She smooths the hair of the grass. The moon has lost her memory. A washed-out smallpox cracks her face. Her hand twists a paper rose. That smells of dust and old cologne. She is alone with all the old nocturnal smells that cross and cross across her brain. No new location on Earth? Aw. Red Rover, come over. I believe we read that one. Yeah. Okay. Smoked salmon filet, dark lager. Uh, Cairo Contoy says, hope you're well, Ox, and hope everyone's all right. Thank you, Cairo, uh, Cairo Contoy. I'm doing well. Art Pixel says, Trident is an expensive ship type. We just got an optional part of the quest to learn more about the Lair of the Mantis.
knows what we'll find. This is a bad idea. Okay, so what? Do we have like a space superhero here? Called the Mantis? Is this gonna be a Mantis Man reference to Fallout? Complete idiot! Wow. Wow. Great stealth, Barrett. Just amazing work. Amazing. I'm I'm crouching down right here, and what do you do? You walk right in front of me because you're a moron. I just need to get rid of you. Ugh. All yours. As soon as I finish your your stupid side quest, I'm gonna get rid of you forever. Same with all companions, I guess. Spacer, did you pick? We got some bodies in here and body bags. Lair Slate, the gold mine. Lair Slate, the gold mine. This lair is a gold mine. The mantis was loaded, the salvage top notch, and the good stuff's gotta be further in. The payout's gonna be extreme. Just gotta survive until then. Traps took out Carver and Zhang. Livy volunteered, quote unquote, a couple of others from Iron Dave's crew. Poor bastards. Just got to stay off Livy's radar. The adventurer says, have you noticed any supernatural references like in, 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 in any other Bethesda games? This game has an abundance of ship graveyards not too far fetched. Uh, the only quote-unquote supernatural reference in the game so far is the artifacts themselves. They exhibit some sort of magical ability, which, gotta say, bums me out a little bit. Um, that said, perhaps there is some sci uh, scientific explanation for the artifacts that we'll get into as we progress through the plot. So I'm reserving judgment until, n until then. Uh, that said, the game is just pretty much just human interaction, alien life, and uh, physics. Julian Z says, Ox, if this is the Manti quest, I think it is. There is an alien. I Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Unless it's important. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Thank you. I should have trusted you, Julian Z. I just don't want any spoilers. There is an item at the end that af that has effects, and it can be re-rolled by quick saving and re-looting if you want. Interesting. Thank you for that one. I'll try that. Rachel says, I think you should take the adoring fan with you. I mean, <laughs> I don't know, maybe, but he's already started to annoy me. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see. I'm just so frustrated with companions. Like, companions in Fallout 4 were worthless. Can we say that? They were, they were worthless. They, they helped very little in combat. I mean, maybe at the very beginning of the game, they were useful when you were brand new and you had nothing. Sure, Codsworth could help kill a few rat roaches and everything was fine. But towards the mid and end of the game, companions didn't really contribute much to combat. All they did is get in the way. And that's what's going on here. I mean, we're not even that far into the game and he's in the middle of spoiling my stealth. He's just standing in front of me while I'm trying to do combat and just, uh, just frustrating me. And they've had so long. Automated message. You're doing well, Leon. Almost there. I know. Things have been difficult. The mantle of the mantis is a heavy burden. Oh, God. But you can do so much good. The spacers and pirates need someone to fear. <laughs> someone to check them. To make them realize some lines cannot be crossed. You have it in you, Leon. I know you do. Stay sharp. Focused. Just a little further. 
So yeah, okay. It's it's space superheroes what we've got here. I love this pistol, by the way. It's amazing. U 1220. I mean, looks cool. I don't have one. I'll take it. I'm using all of my ammunition. I probably shouldn't. Ooh. Liquid cooled advanced star roamer power pack. Epic. Leon Volcane Six Simper Tyrannus. Always above the tyrants? So I met with a lawyer and was prepared to party. Hard. The video will was... emotional. Mom and I stopped talking years ago. Mom... didn't look good. But it was Mom. As weird, crazy, and cryptic as ever. I'm almost surprised she remembered she even had a son. It was... hard to hear. Almost touching. But then the punchline. No inheritance until I go to Mom's secret base on Denabolo 1B. And she ends not with an I love you or an I'm proud of you. No. Six Semper Tyrannus. Oh my god. Always with that stupid Latin saying. Over and over she'd say that damn thing. Thanks, Mom. Thanks oh so much. Orion? What is an Orion? Wow, we're getting brand new types of weapons here. It's a laser rifle. Huh. That looks sick. Wow, and it's way better than what I have. The, the, the Orion looks really good too. That is cool. Let's try it out. What? Oh, I didn't even look at the stats. Looks like I've got a stealth drive on it or something. Chameleon. Blend with the environment while sneaking and not moving. Liquid cooled. 25 thermal resistance. Power boost pack. Oh, that is so great. This mini game. Don't overthink it, Ox. Don't overthink it. This is what happens. I just start overthinking it. All right, blue. That can be used to all rings, two rings, all rings, middle ring, lower ring, all rings, lower ring, all rings, middle ring. None of these are just for the top ring. Okay. So we'll make sure that we use an all ring. Check, check. Okay, but we're gonna have to use three. That can be used for the top or the bottom. So I need to make sure that I've got one for the bottom. Oh, I could use that. Okay, this is middle ring only. Boom. Uh-oh. Yes. Uh, 
Okay. Check. Oh, it's so close. Okay, so if we do that, then... Or we could do that. And that. That's not going to fit, though. If I do that, I've got to have a three slot. If I do that, I'm going to have to have... Oh, everything else is on the other side. This is the only one that would work. But it does both of those. So... Yeah, I'd have to have three. That's not going to work. Because it doesn't work on that level. So. Ah. This only works on the middle ring. So we're going to save it for that. It's got to be one of these two. Uh, okay, so this is for the bottom ring only. That's the way I got to do it. I have to, I've got to solve the bottom ring first. So it needs to be a top three. That'll work for all of them. That's too wide. That's bottom ring only. That would do it. Top. And bottom and top. Okay, so for the top ring, I'm just going to have to... Okay, that's the middle ring, and then we... No, that's not going to work for the middle ring. I'd have to go... There for the middle ring, and then there, which leaves this one. And then I think this one. We're not using that, right? Or are we? Yeah, we are. We are using that. That and that. So we've got that. That's not being used. Boom. Make it worth my time. Ah! Better by watching you work. Ah, oh, this mini game. There's way too many digi picks on that. Making sure I got everything. Toilet paper. Folder. Okay. God 
Got it. Incoming! Whoa! <laughs> that was highly effective. Uh, Alt Grendel says, Chat says backing up uses DigiPix. Better to exit the minigame and try again with new picks. Me as well, right? Oh my god, you're right. Oh. Yeah, you're right. I just wasted a bunch, didn't I? Oh, well, we're learning. We're learning. Heavy use of grenades. All right, but we're not done. There's someone else down there. We just don't see him yet. Oh. I love this thing! It's my favorite thing in the world! Is 
Lair Slate, Leon's Corpse. Found Leon's body. Looks like one of the damned traps got him, too. Big fight over his body until Iron Dave broke it up. Managed to grab his cred stick, though, so bonus. Gotta wonder if the Mantis' own son got nixed, so how can we do any better? Okay, gotta wonder if the Mantis' own son got nixed. How can we do any better? Oh my god. She killed her own son on accident with her traps? Leon came here to get his inheritance and he died to one of his mom's traps? That's awful. And they're gone. Just gone. Stop playing games. It's slow shooting. It packs a punch. But it's really slow shooting. Sure. I've got some time to kill. Look out. <laughs> Eyes burning. Ah. If I had a single credit from every space or nest I've ever found, wait, I probably do. Swagopotamus says, Hi Ox, been really enjoying your playthrough of Starfield. I just spent three hours last night building a Millennium Falcon and it's so awesome. I'm really looking forward to uh, when I can come to terms with the uh, shipbuilder. All right, Leon Vauclain, Mantis Revealed. Find anything worth selling Mantis. or using? No way. I mean, the Mantis is a fairy tale. Someone to keep pirates from going off the deep end. I... I guess it's possible. She never talked about where she got her fortune. And man, she could handle herself anywhere. It's... a, a lot to take in. I need to listen to it again because Barrett decided to talk over it. I'm here, and I'm hot, and I'm tired. So thanks, Mom. Best gift ever. The stupid code worked, and the door scanned my biometric. Surprise, it's me. Then I heard Mom. I nearly had a heart attack. She said her lair, yeah, lair, what a freak, is meant for the worthy. So, all I have to do is take some tests. I just want to get this over with. Huh. I'm here. It had different uh, dialogue than what we heard.
So I met with a lawyer and was prepared to party. Hard. The video will was... emotional. Mom and I stopped talking years ago. Mom... didn't look good. But it was Mom. As weird, crazy, and cryptic as ever. I'm almost surprised she remembered she even had a son. It was... hard to hear. Almost touching. Okay, so that's the same one that we had earlier. Interesting. Well, I'm, I'm curious as to why we had different dialogue when we looted that. Alt Grendel says heal. Thank you. Good tip. So it's the it's the two shells for this weapon that really that really make it frustrating. Love the shotgun, but the two sh the reload is really long. One time I found some spacers living with ice spiders. Let me tell you what, I was not okay. Ice spiders, ship repair fundamentals. The real trick to spaceship repair is to focus on the immediate and the pragmatic. To ask yourself, what can uh, and should I be addressing right now to make my ship flight worthy? Space travel is exceptionally dangerous. We all know this, but focusing on that danger, obsessing over it, helps no one. In fact, thinking about it too much, especially when faced with a malfunctioning ship, can be paralyzing. Just keep it simple and do whatever needs to be done, even if that means using scrap or salvage to keep yourself afloat. So begins Horace Zion's Ship Repair Fundamentals, the go-to book for spaceship repair throughout the settled systems. I've seen spacers scavenge the parts off a ship in minutes. Squall. A powerful combat enhancer, dangerously addictive. Recon stem. Safe. Master lock. Can't do it. Exterminator modified refined drum beat. Scouts, Equinox, Skip Pack. All right, so we've got a rare drum beat now. Uh, 30% damage against aliens. Let's try it out. We haven't tried the drum beat yet. The Adventurer says, I would heal every five minutes in battle, maybe less. Thank you, The Adventurer. Art Pixel says, scopes are worth researching so you can make them. One will highlight enemies like Predator Vision. That's great. Yeah, I mean, once I am able to, I will definitely do so. Okay, then this goes back up. Ooh, new spacesuit. Auto Medic Star Roamer spacesuit. And Spacer Communication 1. Listen up, scumbags. The assholes are on the move, and we've got to be ready. No, not the UC. Not the Freestar Collective. The ones that matter. Pirates, mercs, and those religious nut jobs. We always knew there were some places left over from the colony war. Bases, labs, stuff like that. But now it's come out that there are even more. A lot more. Spread all over the settled systems. Looks like the Big Two didn't play by their own rules when they were playing war. Now it's a friggin' feeding frenzy. Everyone trying to find them. Trying to use them. So why shouldn't we? We have just as much right as they do. So let's go looking. Okay, does this give me a quest? Star Roamer spacesuit. Okay, the one I've got is better. 
Huh, it didn't give us a quest. O2 boosted ground crew space. We're getting so much good stuff here. Uh, but I think what we've got on is better. Yep, the one we've got now is better. One time I found a spacer nest full of bioluminescent ice and fleas. It was like sparkly popcorn. Hunter space suit. Wow. This doubles my physical, doubles my energy, doubles my EM damage resistance. I lose five thermal, I lose 15 corrosive, I gain five airborne, I gain 15 radiation. I mean, there's no question. Even though it's not a rare item, it's way better. But then we've got the Star Roamer spacesuit. It's got anti-ballistic, negative 15% incoming physical damage from ranged weapon, and automatic. Automatically use a medic pack when hit and health is below 25% once every 60 seconds. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think what I just found, the Bounty Hunter spacesuit, is just way better. I mean, it looks great, too. Look at this. Savage Snail says, Just like to say thank you. Uh, thank to the early release streamers. It made learning the menus and basic controls so much easier. Yeah, it uh, took a little bit of time for me as well, but I think I've got the hang of it. Swagapotamus says, Different ship vendors have different ship components, so you need to do a lot of traveling back and forth in order to build your ship super dumb. I can see how that would be really frustrating. Anything I can help you with, Captain? I might have some room in here. Let's see. Okay. Advanced Navigator Space Helmet. Also, it's better. But... Not by much. Actually, it's got significantly more energy resistance, significantly more EM resistance, a little bit more physical resistance. I miss out on 10 airborne, 10 radiation. I gain 10 corrosive, but I miss out on both of my epic features, O2 filter and hacker. Still, the energy in EM might make it worth it. Yeah, let's try it.
Barrett jumped in the way of my grenade. Did you see that? I tossed a grenade and Barrett jumped in the way of it and it ricocheted off of him. Please. I've done this a thousand times. Give me some cover! Gone. Wow, does this gun have like a flame effect or something? Set them on fire. Exterminator mod modified drum beat. It has 50 physical, three energy. Quite hot rounds. Oh, that's what it is. So that's a mo that's not a, a legendary effect. It's uh, it's an upgrade. It's a mod. The white hot rounds set them on fire. That's great. President 99 says you might get some free space for what you find, and believe me. You will find great things. Thank you. You guys keep teasing me. I'm looking forward to finding great things, but I, uh, I'm looting great things too. Here's another one. Instigating officer's micro gun. Fair game. Rare heavy weapon. Just so much stuff. What is this? <laughs> what is this? Instigating officer's micro gun? It's a Gatling gun. It's a minigun. Deals double damage to targets with full health, long barrel, laser sight, compensator, and a tactical grip. Yeah. It's worth 29000 Just... Oh, my God. Yeah, this is... <laughs> Great. Okay, we could go through there. Let's go down there. Oh, he's not hostile. I hope I didn't accidentally kill people that were not hostile. Leon. Final recordings. her own son. That's crazy. Julian Z says, Ox, like, I'm Fallout. Give the minigun to your companion with one piece of ammo and watch him go. <laughs> I don't know if I can trust my companion with that gun. Art Pixel says, White Hot Rounds can be on the gun or the ammo itself if you wanted a different mod on the gun but still have the White Hot effect. I see. Thank you. Wow, all right. Floppy. Oh, okay, all right, just, here we go. This one doesn't work for any. This works for all. Middle only, middle only, any, all, all, the top one only, top one only. Okay. So I gotta choose between those two. 
Nope, I don't. These two are top one only, and they fill all the slots so I can sink them. Okay. Middle only. Uh, any. Any. Middle only. None. None. All right. So, middle only. Okay. But then this is middle only as well. Okay, so if we take that and then put this one there. If we do for the bottom ring that, then we can take this one and do that. Right? I'm not missing anything, am I? Oh, just, just screw you guys. Empty. Oh. Oh, God. Why did this mini game? <laughs> it's like five minutes each time. Okay, this one is for that only. Let's see if we do this. It's empty. I didn't even know it could be empty. No. No. Yeah. God. Yes. No. How does it say for the bottom one when this doesn't fit anything? Oh. Okay, so that fits those four. The Wolf Guardian says, Hey, Oxhorn, what have I missed? Well, we found um, a, a Raider communique in a previous live stream that sent us to this planet. Uh, and we discovered the lair of the mantis and along the way we we learned that some rich old lady was e Actually a secret hero who died and on her deathbed tried to get her son to take over the role Take over the mantle of the quote-unquote mantis, uh, but then the booby traps inside ended up killing her son. So Just spacers in here now got to kill them and I guess we'll take over For the mantis. All right. This doesn't work for any that doesn't work for any that's for any this is for those two. This is for the middle only. Let's try and get that while we're here. Yeah, okay, so then that's a one slot left. The bottom is the one slot left. If we use this for that, and we use this for that, then that leaves this, which is there, which is Oh, no, it doesn't fit. Wait, is this what I did for that one? Okay, so that fits there. That fits there. So if we put that there, then we can put this there. Okay. Ah. Furious micro gun. I mean, <laughs> yes. Speechcraft. Old Earth hunting rifle. Ooh. I'm getting too much crap. I can't carry it all. Look at that. An old Earth hunting rifle with a scope. It's not legendary, but look how cool it is. 86% accuracy. Open. Furious, each consecutive hit deals more damage. I mean, that's the perfect legendary effect for this weapon. And look at this. Oh, yeah. The suspense is killing me.
Well, we found their lair. Look at all this. Just tons of stuff everywhere. I will talk to you in a minute. But I gotta loot. Loot, loot, loot. Okay, this comes back here. Okay, I'm gonna do a hard save here. Wait, wait, don't shoot! I am unarmed! Look, we can help each other. I can be useful. Just don't kill me. We could attack and say, you're just another dead spacer. We could say, spacers aren't usually the surrendering type, or we can say, tell me who you are. Livy, and I mean you, uh, no harm. This place was full of traps. Traps everywhere. I removed them. But this... This corridor is just too dangerous. See? Looks normal. One step inside, slam! You are trapped. And nobody's been standing after the doors reopen. Ooh. Kunk says with that new gun, you can up the difficulty. <laughs> uh, is there a diff I haven't even looked at the difficulty settings. I'm playing on whatever the default was. Mr. Master Chief says, give me those toys you have, Ox, and I'll trade you with 5,600 bottle caps. Maybe. Let me think about it. How did you deal with the traps? No, sorry. If I tell you that, then I lose my leverage. They're ingenious. Took a, a lot of lives to tease them out. Looks like this place really tore you apart. It's true. So many of my crewmates are gone. And this corridor is the worst. But I figured it out. There are letters on the floor. It is a grid. Those letters must spell something. But there are so many words or small phrases. How many words have you tried? Five? Six? It's hard to find... Uh, volunteers. I really thought we had it with M. Mantis. Ah, oh, poor Fred. Is it I am Mantis? Sounds kind of obvious. What? Well, nobody else here figured that out. See? I've been helpful. You... you could let me go. Or better, I can help. I know these traps. I know how this mantis thinks. Please, let me help. And just give me a taste of the cachet inside. You can trust me. Nope. <laughs> That's not a good idea. You can trust me, he says. We could say, no deal, say your prayers, Livy, or just get out of here, I don't need you. Or you really think I'm going to trust me, or trust you, or betray me and you die? So say, just get out of here, I don't need you. I have sacrificed too much. No, I, I won't go. I will fight you! Ours now. Okay. Well. Optional learn more about the mantis. Uh, I feel like there's a code phrase or something that I don't have yet. I mean, he said am mantis, so I'm, I'm assuming the code phrase is I am mantis. 
Is there something easy and obvious that I just haven't seen yet? No direct path seen. Okay, well, <clears throat> let's go in. Words on the floor, huh? Computer! This lock is too difficult. Oh, man. Art Pixel says you have it in a note. I read all my notes about this, though, didn't I? Uh, just gotta stay off Livy's radar. Six Semper Tyrannus? The video will was emotional. Is it Six Semper Tyrannus? Yeah, I bet you that's what it is. T G S D C. I mean, that's not sick. There we go. Death number one. Six sem Semper uh, Tyrannus. It's not Six Semper Tyrannus. Wait, wait, don't shoot. Hi. Look, we can help each. No, no. I mean, if I could uh, hack this terminal, I bet it would give it to me, but it's master lock. All right, if it's not Six Semper Tyrannus, and it's not Am Mantis, <laughs> let's take a look at our notes again to see if we've got anything. Maybe it's just Mantis? Okay, how many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a seven letter word. S-E-M-P-E-R-T-Y-R. Tyrannus. Is it Tyrannus? T-Y-R-A-N-N-I-S. 
T-Y-R-A-N-N-I-S. T-Y... Is that Y? T-Y-R-A... And where's N? N... N... I... Oh, that's a T. Hold on, I forgot to loot the bodies. And... No, I forgot to loot the bodies! I forgot to loot... <laughs> I went back to go loot the bodies and they started firing at me. Alright, I need to loot them as I'm going around. Uh, going, going along. It's Tyrannus. It's Tyrannus. T. We'll find a use for that stuff. Why? R A N What's the other N? N I oh. What did I do? Did they start did they start shooting Barrette? Is that what it was? Did they start shooting Barrette and then they turned on me? Because the last letter I skipped over. We aren't using it anymore, so why not? Okay, so why did they start shooting earlier? Either I touched it wrong or they started shooting at Barrett. Savage Snail says chat is suggesting saving more often. The beat is, says, looks like you barely touched another plate. Okay. Well, I got through. Expert lock? Come on. All right, none. Middle. None. All. 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 Middle or bottom. Top or bottom. Bottom. This is the only one that fits on the top. Okay. None, middle. None, all, all, all. Okay. So I could do this, and then this, and then for the bottom, I could do this, but I'm out of singles. <clears throat> and I need a single in order to get this to work. So... Wait, I've got an extra single. Yes! Okay, bingo. So then, um... Are these the chests that I can re-roll? Let me quick save. Credits. Hitman modified micro gun. Another? Um, what? This is my first time in the game that I've seen the micro gun and I just looted three of them. One regular, one rare, one epic. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Julian Z says, don't forget to save before looting your prize for reroll. Is this the prize?
I mean, I don't plan to use the micro gun for everyday combat. It's cool, but I really don't need it. Let's do a hard save here just in case. Then let's load the quick save. Let's try again. Hitman modified micro gun. Is that the same as I had last time? It is the same. Okay, so quick saving before looting doesn't actually allow you to reroll. It's not that chest. You'll know it when you see it, says Red Bandit. All right. Let me make sure I didn't miss out on any super chats. Scrolling up. President 99 says, okay, bets are run. I guess he'll die three times at least. You ended up being right. I, I think I did die three times. <laughs> Kunk says, get rid of the books in your and your notes. They're heavy. All right, I will when I get back to the ship. Um... Tosca says, I try to give voice actors the benefit of the doubt, or maybe it's Bethesda, but it's not that good. Maybe Red Dead Redemption 2 set the bar too high. I don't know. Anyway, hi, chat. Hey there, Tosca. Um, yeah, I guess I can see your point there. I think the voice acting can be a bit wooden at times. Uh, there, there have been a couple of times where I've, I've, I've thought it was really bad, <clears throat> but mostly it's okay. Red Dead really did it very well. Uh, Baldur's Gate does it well as well. Art Pixel told me that I had the password in a note. Thank you. Uh, the Wolf Guardian says, Found other buildings on the first planet you go to after the mining mission. Found a lot of credits too. Plenty of enemies as well. Very hard to kill. Yeah, I'm looking forward to just doing exploration. Okay, well, let's load my um, hard save. It really is great. Okay. Well, where do I want to... I could uh, rank up stealth. 25% more difficult to detect while sneaking. I could rank up... How's my persuasion? Nope. I, I think I just ranked up persuasion. So I need to do more speech checks before I can rank that up. I could rank up scavenger. Good to get that early on. Um... Haven't completed the challenge there. Haven't completed that challenge either. Haven't completed that challenge either. All right, so it looks like... I have completed that. I could work more in ballistics. Ballistic weapons do 10% more damage. I think I'll try this. I mean... Well, maybe... Maybe I'll try this. There's a chance you'll find extra ammo when searching containers, yeah. I probably don't need any more ranks in this though, because then we've got extra aid items, which are just gonna increase my inventory. I'm going to be carrying them around. And then tracked resources will get highlighted when using the hand scanner. Eh. All right, after this, I think I'll put it into stealth. I really need to move on to the next tier. I haven't really found a way to move on to the next tier yet. All right, so uh, loot 75 containers. Alert. 
hostiles. I am engaging the enemy. I am taking damage. So that's why they gave me a Gatling gun. <laughs> That's so fun. It's really fun. Damn. I wonder how difficult it would have been to kill these things without the Gatling gun. Sure. Pick it up if you want. Stop harassing me for looting. That's the point of my existence in this world is to loot. That's all I do. I am sorry I could never show this lair to you. The lair is a secret that's been passed down for over a hundred years. And there are rules. You remember when you were a teenager? All the training, the drills, all of it was to prepare you for this. I know you have it in you, Leon. But he didn't. And because you didn't tell him about this beforehand, you killed him. Because you didn't warn him he was going into a place with traps, he's dead. Way to go, Mom. Mom of the year. All right, uh, robot model A. Wasn't there two? Didn't I destroy two? Can I not loot this one? All right, maybe there was nothing on that inventory. Classic. Classic Bethesda. Is that a robot? It looks like a barrier, but its legs are moving. Like, what's going on there? Lair of the Mantis. I found it. Oh. Hostile? Is it hostile? Model S. Cool looking robot. So what? Is this like a player home now? Can I turn this into a player home? Leon, you've done it. You're here. The lair now belongs to you. Inside you will find all you need to be the mantis, my darling boy. I haven't I haven't been the best mother in these final days. I wish be a better mantis, be a better person this than I is was. Off you need to leave. You need to chill out. This is my home now. I'm the mantis. You are. You need to be advised. This is now a system failure. So do I get a spaceship? Do I get a new spaceship? Yeah! Whoa, what is all of this?
Robot repair bays. Genetic samples. Ooh, there's more robots in there. Claim the Mantis' starship. So what, is this what I have to re-roll? Or is this what I have to save before taking because I, I might want to re-roll it? I'm encumbered, aren't I? Yeah. Uh, come on, Barry. What's new? <laughs> Let's give you a Gatling gun. I have some room if you need me to carry something. Okay, let's go to inventory, weapons. You can have the modified drum beat, the furious micro gun. I'm gonna keep that one. Uh, instigating officer's micro gun. <laughs> the old earth hunting rifle is really cool, but it's not legendary. Uh, I'll wait till I get another one. And then I got a cool space, space suit. I got a new pack, but it's way worse. Uh, see, and that's it. No helmet. I'll give him my hacker's helmet. Uh, Thomas McCormick says, I don't know if the containers reset, but I dropped all my contraband off on the bed and used it as a free player home. Well, okay then. Yeah, I mean, I imagine we should be able to use this place as a player home. Security computer. Okay, security log. Corrupt entry is unrecoverable. <clears throat> uh, explosions detected. Emergency wipe running. Defense contingency scorched. Earth initiated. Mainframe failing. Hard wipe at 97%. Security offline process terminated. All right, so this is uh, explaining why we don't have 100 years worth of logs here. They did <clears throat> a scorched earth wipe. We only got 3% left. Archived security log, system defrag complete, uh, devocalane access granted, ment one access granted, med cab, unassigned admin role, mantis, guest exit. Deleted logs, process scorched earth interrupted, data unrecoverable. Hmm. Kind of wish I could read those logs. Micro floater terrarium. Looks cool. Tau grade Rio stat, what's that? Looks like I don't need it right now. Okay. Let's go claim our ship. Okay, I'll do a hard save here, just in case this is what you guys were talking about. Starship lift controls. Preset 99 says, uh, listen, I don't want to spoil it, uh, but this year, what you will find is going to be a friend for a long time. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I could definitely use a ship upgrade.
Oh! Is that it? Is it the weapon case? Well, we already know that reloading a quick save isn't going to do anything. Laura says there's a glass case. There's also an elevator here. This goes to the surface. Where's this glass case? The glass case is the quest marker. Oh, okay. Well, then I haven't gotten there yet. Med Theft Nova Blast Disruptor. Med Theft Nova Blast Disruptor. Whoa, what is that? Epic electromagnetic rifle. Bashing deals double damage when the gun is bashing. Med theft. Chance that humans drop extra med packs on death. Okay. Equip followers with EM weapons to engage non-lethality. Oh, it's a non-lethal weapon. I well, suppose it'll be uh, useful to have, but I kind of want a lethal weapon right now in case I follow another robot. Can't open that one, I get. EM is non-lethal and it's good against robots, says Laura. Oh, okay. Scorched Earth warning. Admin alert, please log off this computer. Process Scorched Earth has detected three unclosed documents. You have one hour to comply before admin override. You've earned it. Dorian, you must have thought I was crazy, but now you see, right? Of all the people I could have chosen, I know you will fill the role of Mantis the best. In these computers, you will find the history of the Mantis. What the Mantis is today, it wasn't always the case. When reading the logs about the first Mantis, don't judge her too harshly. It was a volatile time, and before she passed the mantle, she recognized that the Mantis could be more than an opportunity to make money. It could become a symbol. Make the settled systems safer. Strike fear into the heart of those that believe they are above the law, above reproach. But most importantly, Keep the secrets safe. Now I'm off to retirement. Don't try to contact me. You won't be able to find me. I've left all you need here. The former Mantis. First kill. I've been forced to take lives before, but this was the first time I did so as the Mantis. It felt different. I was scared. More about letting everyone down than the fight itself. At one point, the Mantis's ship, the Razor Leaf, was light years above everyone else, and she still flies well and true, but it's clear I need to upgrade pretty much everything inside it. The hull's what matters, though. That's the symbol. But in the end, I got the better of Redderer. I imagine there will be celebrations at the streets in the streets of Aquila City. Total scum. But I can't shake the feeling that tracker work is, at its heart, murder for pay. I'm not sure why the old Mantis chose me, but pretty much every Mantis has said that. About Leon. I've been going through the motions of living, fighting, and carrying on, but all I can think of is, you have a year to live, Dory. It plays over and over in my head. I can smell the office, see the sad, flat eyes of the doctor. Details come back to me at the oddest times. It puts everything in stark relief. What's important what's not. The most important thing is choosing the right successor. And I just know Leon could do it. 
I have failed him so much. The job always seemed so pressing. If I'm brutally honest with myself, the nannies and the boarding schools raised him more than I. But there is greatness in him, if only he could see it. I'm going to talk with my lawyer first thing when I get in the system. The wheels need to be set in motion. I'm having a good day today. I feel so normal, but I'm walking through the whole world like it's a cloud. DV. <clears throat> Savage Snail says, just because Chad is loving this. Thank you, Savage Snail. So she, she got sick. She had a year left to live, possibly cancer. And she wanted to give this to her son, I guess as a way of saying sorry for not being a more present mother. And yet she ended up killing him. It's so sad. Tracker's Alliance spacesuit. Looks like it might be better than my bounty hunter spacesuit. What if we leave a few things here and make a second trip? Thank you for that, Barrett. Okay, so energy goes down by... Uh, 20 points. Physical goes up by less than 20 points. EM goes down by 12 points. Thermal down by 5. Corrosive down by 15. Radiation up by 15. Airborne up by 5. Uh, I mean, it's... It's all right. But I think I'll keep the bounty. The Cigar Captain says, I can rec or can I recommend the Freestar Rangers quest line after this? It's not super long and has nice reward at the end. Thank you, the Cigar Captain. Uh, I haven't really done many Freestar quests yet. The Freestar Rangers sound fascinating, so I definitely want to do them. I don't know if I want to do them now. I kind of want to finish the Constellation plot and then maybe focus on uh, either side quests or faction quests. Alt, Alt Grendel says, hard save. We'll do Alt Grendel. Rachel says, I bet the adoring fan would never loot shame. <laughs> You're probably right about that. Okay, I'm Barrett. all ears. Go ahead. We have time to rearrange things. I have even more gear to give you. Another space suit, a really heavy one. Tracker's Alliance space suit. Do I have any more weapons to give him? Yeah, I've got the Nova Blast Disruptor. There we go. Right. No worries. Hard save. Reactive Mantis Pack. Here I've been worried about all of... Oh, look at that helmet. <laughs> Sentinel's Mantis Space Sit. Oh, that Space Sit looks goofy. Maybe it just looks goofy because it's on my chubby character here. <laughs> wow. But wait a minute. Physical energy and EM goes down. All right. So it's really going to be about the legendary effects. Bolstering, Liquid Cooled, and Sentinel. O2 Boosted. Lead-lined and sensor chip. Anti-ballistic, fastened, and reactive. I don't even know enough about the legendary effects to know if these are good. Anti-ballistic, negative 15% incoming physical damage from ranged weapons. Nice. Fastened, plus 20 carrying capacity. Very nice. Reactive, 10% chance to stagger nearby attackers. Basic boot pack, uh, boost pack. Yeah. And it's better than my current boost pack. 
O2 boosted, 20% oxygen capacity, nice. Lead lined, 25 radiation resistance. Eh. Sensor chip, 20% accuracy while firing on the move. Eh. I tend to not fire a lot on the move. Bolstering grants up to 100 energy resistance and physical resistance the lower your health. Nice. Liquid cooled, 25 thermal resistance. Eh. Sentinel, 75% chance to reduce damage by 50% while standing still. Yes. I am oftentimes standing still and sniping. What a quest. Holy cow, this is just giving me all sorts of good stuff. All right, let's do a hard save. Then let's load the previous save and see what we get the next time. Mirrored Mantis Pack. Combat Veteran. Negative 15% damage from humans. Nice. Lead lined. Okay. Mirrored. 4% chance to reflect attacks. Mirrored. Mirrored. All three of these are mirrored. Ablative. 15% uh, incoming energy damage. Negative. Resource Hunter. Resources weigh 25% less. Mirrored. And then Beast Hunter, negative 15 damage from alien enemies. Acrobat, negative 50% falling damage. Mirror, chance to reflect attacks. So with all three of these equipped, that brings it a 12% chance to reflect attacks. Nice. But I kind of like... I mean, Beast Hunter, I don't need that. Acrobat, don't need that. Uh, resource Hauler, don't need that. Lead lined, don't need that. All right. Let me save again. <laughs> and load one more time, just to see what we get. Okay, Mirrored Mantis Helmet again, but it's got Galvanized plus 25 Corrosive Resistance. O2 Boosted, Oxygen Capacity. O2 Boosted is good. Galvanized, eh. Reactive Mantis, Bolstering, I like that, I need that. Galvanized, I got two Galvanized? And then Reactive, Chance to Stagger nearby attackers. Technician, negative 15 damage from robots, liquid cooled, plus 25 Thermal Resistance. Reactive, 10% chance to stagger nearby attackers. I'm starting to think that maybe the first one I got was best. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try one more time. One more time just to see what I get. I've got unlimited saves, right? Reactive, okay, ablative, energy damage, galvanic, uh, chance to stagger nearby enemies, anti-ballistic, resource hauler, reactive, and ablative, galvanized sensor chip. I think I like uh, the one that I got the first time. Okay. <laughs> it just looks kind of goofy. Well, I mean, I just got this bounty hunter spacesuit, and by putting this on, I nearly half my energy damage resistance. I drop 36 points in EM damage resistance. I drop uh, four points. No, I drop almost 10, over 10 points in physical damage resistance. Thermal goes way up. Airborne goes way up. Corrosive goes all the way down, and radiation stays the same. But I guess the legendary effects are going to make it worth it. 
Liquid cooled. This is definitely worth it. All the way around. And then the helmet. Um... I'm swapping physical for energy nearly. Thermal is uh, better. Radiation, way better. Corrosive is 10 less. Okay. Wow. I am the mantis. <laughs> Okay, a little personal gym here to keep fit. So we can loot adhesive, but um, tape doesn't count as adhesive. Space suit workbench. I don't have any polymer. I don't have molecular sieve. I don't have any mag pressures. Well, I just don't have um, any of the resources I need to do any modifications. And I've been tagging them and searching for them for several streams now. So maybe I need to manufacture them. You're carrying a lot. Do you want to take a moment to shuffle things around? Yeah, I probably should. I mean... <laughs> I've already looted. Excuse me. Looking for something? Okay, well, you can have the bounty hunter space suit and the liquid cooled pack and the advanced navigator helmet, and there we go. Alrighty. Oh my god. A lot of them are made at industrial workbenches. Thank you, Art Pixel. Okay, none. Top ring. So let's work on that. Top ring only. Okay, that leaves me with one left. All rings. None. Top ring only. Oh, so, no, bottom ring. All rings. None. Middle ring only, and it's already where it needs to be. And that's all. All right, so if we put this on top ring over there. And then we put this on the middle ring. Nope, that won't fit there. Won't fit there. Won't fit there. It fits there. So that means I need that for there. No rings. Bottom ring already done. So I've already got those. Then these can go... No, it's going to have to be for the bottom ring. If I've got that for the bottom ring... Crap. Oh. That can go in the middle ring. All right. So we've got middle ring done. Top ring done, middle ring done. All right, so let's...
Amino acids and plutonium. Ooh. Space Adepts Assassins Refined Drum Beat. Garrett Horsch says, Ox, I recommend taking all resources to Constellation Basement. Tons of free storage with all workbenches and research. It's a game changer. Yeah, that's where I've been going to do all of my modifications, but where would I... S did they, I'm trying to figure out how storage works because I know that I can store stuff in my ship and that any research ben bench I use in the game connects to it, right? But once that's full, are there other work or storage places in Constellation that will feed from all of them? Uh, original Aquila City Charter. Cool. Some lore. And the rest is all resources and scrap. 30% damage while in space and 15% negative 15 on the planet. Eh. New item six. Let's read original Aquila City Charter. Although Earth has been left behind, humanity shares an ancient compact between any form of government and its citizens. All individuals enjoy unalienable rights that may not be infringed. A government shall not interfere in purely private affairs. A colony has complete autonomy on how they are governed and to manage its own interstellar relations. And all individuals, in time of great need, owe the government their arms and, if need be, blood, if the collective welfare is threatened. Thus starts the original charter for Aquila City. It has a list of rights and responsibilities of the citizens, as well as a list of the powers of the government itself, possibly one of the most important documents in Aquila City, city history. Garrett Horsch says, storage container behind research station. See, weaponry. Blocked, blocked, blocked. I've completed all of these. But these are all blocked because I need weapon engineering rank, rank one. Helmet mods. I need cosmetic and polymer for that. Blocked. Old Earth cuisine. Hey, cheese. I need another cheese. Mixology. I need more spice. And then performance enhancement one. Oh, project complete. Discover how to create amp and red trench at pharmaceutical. Cool, complete. Well then wait a minute, if that's, maybe I can, nope. Thomas McCormick says, need to be within 250 meters of your ship to access the cargo, except when selling in cities. Also, Constellation has an infinite store safe in your bedroom. Oh, that's brilliant. Thank you. That's where I'm gonna go. All right, well, I think I looted. Potato. <laughs> Thankfully, I don't have to scrounge around for potatoes everywhere. Did you pick? Okay. So behind, that's the spacesuit workbench. <clears throat> all right. Well, I don't see any other chests. I think I've looted it all.
Right, let's go to the ship. Taskmaster says the Constellation safe is not linked to the workbench or the ship. What? I'm confused, guys. Open door. Oh, come on. How do I get out of here? Oh, here we go. Garrett Horsch says, Ox, I meant there is all stations with an unlimited storage container right next to the research station in the basement of the lodge. Go there to craft. I see. Okay. Garrett says it, it isn't linked. It, just always go there to craft. Well, if it's not linked, why would I go there to craft? Unless I dump, I take everything out of my ship's inventory and manually take it to Constellation to do all my crafting there. I suppose I could do that. Look at this. Mantis status. Wow. Look at this. Cool. Can I have more crew? Mission updated. Eyewitness. Oh, that's that's now the one that I have targeted. All right, I'm heavily encumbered, so I'm going to try and... Pearl Filterer. Exhilarating, isn't it? To be the first person to scan these things. Temperament Peaceful.
Oh, yeah. Razor Leaf. Navigation console. Oh, wow. So that's what that does. And this goes to the cockpit. And there's the pilot seat. All right. So how do I get all of the stuff from my old ship into this one without manually doing it? Because I can see that being a nightmare. Oh, my God. Oh. It's an old earth hunting rifle. Star Roamer pack, I don't need that. Whoa, what did I just get? Oh, <laughs> this is kind of what I wanted. Exterminator, 30% damage against aliens. Staggering, small chance to stagger enemies. I mean, great for hunting monsters, I guess. Look at that scope. Lots of cases. O2 filtered calibrated deep mining space helmet. It's rare. Man, this quest was the jackpot. Pacifier. Ooh, shotgun. Look at that. It's not a legendary weapon, but the pacifier? I mean... How can I not? Look at this. Ooh. Savage Snail says, Ox, you can store stuff in the bottomless safe in your lodge, but if you want to research stuff or do mods, you have to pull the resources out of the safe and have them on your inventory from Zartu. Thank you, Zartu. Thank you, Savage. All right, but is there a, a workbench or something that I can dump resources into in the lodge so that all of the workbenches pull from them? Because it's just going to be really cumbersome to try and have everything in my inventory for all the crafting I want to do. Artpixel says it auto-transfers when taking off. Extra goes on you. Oh, so every time I switch ships, it auto-transfers. Oh, I see. President 99 says the transfer of goods is automatic, though, when there isn't enough room. Don't know what happens with the loot. That was too much. Well, I think he just answered it for us. Modified drum beat. Space it I just got a rare one. Yay! <laughs> it's like this game knows exactly what I want. Space adapt. All right. But still, look at that. Yes. Thank you. Brilliant. Man, I just, this quest is just amazing. I got everything here. Red Bandit says you can store all of your resources on your ship and it'll transfer to the workshops. 
to the workshops in Constellation. Okay, this cigar is dead. Cairo Contoy says, don't forget to register the ship. What do you mean, register the ship? I don't know what that means. Present 99 says, oh, and I never had problems crafting. I always pull from me or the ship the resources I mean. ship has been added to your fleet. To retrieve ships in your fleet that you have left behind, go to a ship services technician at any major city and ask to view the ships that you own. From there, you can cycle through the ships in your fleet and select make home ship to retrieve it. <clears throat> okay. Von Rex says, in the lodge is a set of armor locked behind a master lock but there is a shallow opening on the right side as you face it that you can access from Mannequin. I'm not sure if it's better than what you have now, though. Okay. Well, I mean, we're going back to the lodge. Thank you, Von Reck. Found something for you. It's beautiful. So we could continue with our eyewitness quest. But I really want to work on the primary plot into the unknown. Talk to Vladimir or Empty Nest. Talk to Sam Co. Let's talk to Vladimir. Make the exchange with George St. George? Which one was that? Um, I want to go to the spaceport because I want to sell. Art, Art Pixel says, personally, I found crafting less annoying at outposts. I can make as much storage as I want and it pulls from them or my ship automatically. Thank you. And when I make outposts, I'll probably do that transition. If but the lodge then... wasn't here, I probably wouldn't be here all that often. Don't get me wrong. New Atlantis is lovely. It's just sort of predictable. Let's see if by switching ships, it put a bunch of the uh, resources. All right, it puts... I've got some resources in my inventory, but not a lot. Now, I do have a bunch of stuff on board that I need to sift through and sell, so... Sorry to have to do this, but we need to take a brief break to do some inventory management. Part and parcel to uh, play in games like this. Have something for you. Now, in my Constellation ship, I had placed a bunch of weapons in a safe by the cockpit. 
Um... Is mining on the schedule today? No, it's not. Just here for a chat? No, I'm not. Be quiet. Okay, where's my safe? In this brand new ship. Hey there. There it is. Captain's locker. Everything's gone. Is it on my inventory? No? Check the cargo. Ah, uh, yeah. No. Yeah. I put these in the safe. But I also thought that I had, um... Okay, all my resources are here. That's great. Let's, um... Can I deposit resources? My inventory. Uh, resources. Store all resources. Great. But let's go back to the razor leaf. I thought I also had some weapons that I put in my captain's locker as well. But I don't see them here. Okay, so if I have everything in the cargo hold, when I go back to uh, Constellation, I'll be able to use the workbenches and it'll feed directly to cargo hold, right? Okay. Hey, what's going on? How have you been? I should probably take everything off Lay of this on inventory. Me. Let me carry that. A good team works together, right? Bevo Latte says Captain's Locker doesn't transfer, only the cargo hold. Oh, great. <laughs> All right, let's uh, take my stuff. Uh-huh. And let's sell. Hey, you might want this. Ships Got anything you need to offload? Trade authorities always touch. buy. Kiosk right here for you. Okay. Okay, well, we've got a lot to get through here. Let's see. Let's sort by ammo type. Barrow knife. I think I've got another uh, melee weapon that's going to be better than this. The cigar captain says, change ships, things in captain's locker should still be there. Okay, thank you. All right, I've got the shattering combat knife. I'll have, keep that equipped. Only one weapon with a .27 caliber ammunition, so I'll keep that. I've got two of these. Don't need the second one, so we'll sell that. This is my only weapon with the .45 caliber ammunition. This is my only weapon with the .50 caliber ammunition. What happened to my legendary lawbreaker? Did I store it back on the other ship? I might have. But I took this one because it has a scope. So until I can do that, well. All right, so I've got three weapons that do 11 millimeter ammunition. And they're all drum beats. This one has a scope and an extended barrel. So we'll sell that one. Exterminator, Space Adept. Neither of those uh, rare effects are interesting. So this one does physical and energy. This one just does physical. Has a greater range than this one does. This one has a slightly better accuracy. This one has a better value. I mean, I kind of like the scope and the barrel, 
but this one is overall a better weapon, so we'll sell the Adept Assassins. Pacifier, or Space Adept Pacifier, let's sell the non... All right, now this one has two. All right, so these both take the same type of ammunition. My laser rifles. One is an Equinox, however, and one is an Orion. This has a higher fire rate. This does not. So they're very different weapons. Let me think about that one. Uh, suppressed Kraken or Extended Mag Modifier. Maelstrom. Um, I no longer need this as my only suppressed weapon, so I can sell it. Calibated Grendel. All right, I've got... Okay, so these all take 7.7 .7 millimeter. Now let's sell this one because I've got the Calibrated Grendel. Furious Micro Gun. Hitman's Micro Gun. Instigating Officer's Micro Gun. <clears throat> this has three mods installed. This has four mods installed. This one has no mods installed and it's just Furious. So I think this is the clear one that I'm going to sell. Let's sell the Furious. Warning you will get less than the item is worth. Really? Oh, the vendor is running low on credits. Crap. I need to find another vendor. <laughs> ah, shoot. Crap. There's one by the coffee shop, says Art Pixel. All right. Okay, and the rest I'm going to have to just uh, sell at the... by the coffee shop. Present99 says, I do not want to talk into your game, but you should really invest in two skills, both in tech. One is called piloting for better ships, and the second is payload. You'll need it. Thank you. I definitely want to do that, but I'm trying hey! to wait. Hey! Hey, you! You have a minute? I, I need guess. to talk to you. Okay. You're the one that was on Vectera, right? Uh, you flew in on the uh, frontier. Uh, depends on who's asking and why. Tommy Bitlow, SSNN research intern. Word is the Frontier was involved in an attack? It's true, right? You saw some real action? Listen, buddy, I'm real busy. Good people died and are injured. The Crimson Fleet attacked us, if that's what you mean by action. Oh, this is great, great. Uh, my boss, Nadia Mufaz, would kill to talk to you. An actual eyewitness! Uh, there's credits in it for credible newsworthy information. Hmm. Who's Nadia Mbafaz? Everyone knows David Barron, the face and voice of SSNN, if you will. But Nadia is in charge of all the research. All the best stories were written by her. She's. Uh, really something. Sounds like someone's got a crush. Um. Uh... I'm not sure if I should be talking about this. I don't know why we shouldn't, or I could use the money. And easy money, too. Just go to the SSNN building. It's not far. Keep it up, Tommy. You're killing it. <laughs> A light in the darkness. Talk to Nadia. Okay. Well, uh... Light in the darkness. Here we go. Talk to Nadia. Hey, no loitering. You will be scanned as you enter the city. <laughs> okay. <sighs> oh, yeah, that's UC security. They're busier than normal these days, it seems.
Okay, I'm super encumbered. Let's try to get to that coffee shop trade terminal. Alright, that's where I need to go for the interview. Here's the coffee shop. Excuse me. Oh. Oh, this isn't it. I keep telling them I am a manager. I should be managing. Well, manager, do you think you can manage to make a premium cappuccino with double dairy and no whip? I don't appreciate <laughs> your tone. And no, I will not make whatever it is you just said. Because this place is a disorganized mess. What you ask me to do is literally impossible. Oh, I understand impossible. Fine. You want to organize? There's a mop in the back. See if he can't organize a little floor cleaning operation. <sighs> Outrageous! <laughs> Who is this person? Could you... What? No, just... Ugh, go away. Wow. Yes? What? I'd like to see you, what you have for sale. Oh, please, take a look. Here we go. She's got 5,000 credits to work with. Uh, let's go back through my weapons here and sort by ammo type. Garrett says some uh, kiosks tell you where real stores are. All right, thank you. Okay, so uh, I was going to make that decision later. Right now we're trying to work with the 7.77 millimeter ammunition type. I've got the Grendel. Seems uh, bizarre to use the Grendel when I've got the minigun. All right, hunting rifle. Let's sell this one. Um, this uses a heavy fuse. Art Pixel says there's also a vendor in the well. I buy ammo too. Okay, thank you uh, for that one, Art Pixel. Let's see, what I need, a, I, I, I only need a Grendel. So the Grendel uses the same ammunition. No, it doesn't, because I've got a, I've got a Maelstrom. So now that I've got um, a Lawless, which has a scope, I no longer need to use the Maelstrom for my sniping. So I can use this as sort of my SMG mid-range thing. So I don't need the Grendel for that, but I guess I need to decide which one I like better. Well, I don't need to... I'm going to use uh, the micro gun. So I'll sell the Grendel. Um, and I guess I'll sell the Furious and the Instigating. Because I've got this one. All right, I'm not going to get the full money from this. <laughs> they ran out of money too. Yikes. Uh, all right. Orion or the Stealth Equinox? I mean, what are the situations in which I would need a uh, an energy sniper rifle? Zartu says, Ox, go to the commercial district. Okay. <clears throat> Let's try and sell spacesuits then. Um... Uh, these two are really good, uh, but this has so many legendary effects that it's a shame not to use it. But this is way better, energy, physical, and EM. Um, the Tracker's Alliance was almost as good. I'll sell that. What? The vendor has two... Oh, I see. Uh, I'm not going to get... Okay, well, I'll, I'll sell this then. I'm not going to get the full value from either of those. Let's go through the packs. Okay, yeah, I can sell both of these. And helmets. Shame not to have the hackers anymore. 
But I gotta worry about my uh, inventory here. I could sell duplicate books if I have any. Do I have any duplicates? Yeah. I have somehow looted four of Nava's directive. But I don't get anything from it. But I want to save the other books. History of Xenobiology. I think I've read that one. Hush, Husher Pups became a bronze ox. Thank you, Husher Pups. Oh, and then I've got all of these that I can sell. I mean, suddenly I'm no longer doing really bad on... Uh, I've got 89,000 credits. <laughs> uh, I, I almost went broke on my last broadcast, but now I'm doing really well. Thanks for coming in. Nice night, huh? If you'd like a cup of coffee, please speak to one of our cashiers. Okay, well this, uh... This quest is sending me to the commercial district. Bevo Latte says you'll be spending a ton of money on your ship and 89k goes real quick. Thank you, Bevo Latte. All right, so this quest wants me to go there. Let's see. Gal Bank, Commercial District. Maybe we'll pass by some okay, shops. another shift. If we go this way. Terror Brew Coffees. Volberg. Kill for a cup of coffee right about now. SSNN. You can't go in. You just can't. But Dave SSNN is, is doing what it me. can. It's just that people are hard to reach these days. The it makes it harder to relay drama. Mr. Barron's a very busy and important man. But I came all this way. Uh, listen, I might be able to hook you up with some merch. Maybe get you a ticket to a speaking gig he's got. That's all I can do. You are the best! Fangirl. <laughs> David Barron is the most famous journalist in the settled systems. Patty50 says, Onks, have you found the Apollo 11 landing site on the moon? No, I didn't know you could find that. I've just got a feeling about you. You have a story to tell. Quick save. Welcome to SSNN, where the news never sleeps. If you're part of the David Barron fan club, try not to inflate his ego too much. He's liable to burst. Who are you? A cog in the machine. If you mean literally, Nadia Mufaz. Head researcher of the office. So if we got any facts wrong, I'm the one who files your complaint into the shredder. What's your problem with David Barron? We spend hundreds of hours digging into stories, sorting the lies from the damned lies. Then David performs a two-minute segment and wins an award. <laughs> Who'd have a problem with that? Uh, we could say I really like David Barron, or David seems like a vain egomaniac. Well, it's nice to meet you, too. <sighs> Sorry. Long day. Longer night. <clears throat> How about a do-over? Let's take a look at you. You... You're not from around here. My guess is you work, really work, for a living. I bet you have a story or two. I have a feeling about such things. Okay, one second, need to step away. Briefly, I will be right back.
Searching the old memory banks, huh? You're... really unusual. I could take a breather too. All right, thanks for your patience. Had to uh, refill my coffee. Got my tankard full, feeling good. Let's see. Um, let's see. Actually, your intern asked me to do an interview with you. Tommy? Tommy did something useful? So you must be the captain of the. Frontier? Rumor is there was a firefight at a mining installation. I'm interested only in primary sources. So things you've seen and or done that are newsworthy. No hearsay. So, what do you got for me? Okay, deliver news about the Vectra mining attack. Well, let's see. Uh, what's David Barron really like? Dear Lord, everyone wants to know about Baron. <sighs> he's a smart guy. He cares about what he's reporting. He's way too damn cozy with the UC, and that's a problem for us staying impartial. My biggest beef with him is he's credited with everything he reports, and he doesn't lift a finger to correct that impression. Hmm, I can see that would be very annoying. How is it working for the SSNN? We're short-staffed, overworked, and trying to report on a million things at once. Not to mention there's a constant battle with the powers that be to maintain our journalistic principles. So, things are just swell. <laughs> we could say I don't want to do an interview right now, or we could ask what stories are you working on right now? Searching. I'm working on an investigative piece about some of the businesses in the well right now. Trying to get a handle on how things are in that part of the city. I'm not sure the story will get off the ground, though. <clears throat> I asked the higher-ups if I could go down there for some interviews, but they said it's too dangerous. It'd probably be all for it if David asked. Von Reck says another perfect two-minute break. Thank you, Von Reck. It's always two minutes. We could say tough luck, or I'd be willing to do it, or you think anyone will read something like that? I wouldn't be writing it if I didn't. Most people in New Atlantis like to pretend the well doesn't exist. I think it's important to call attention to what's going on down there. I'd be willing to do the interviews for you. Really? You sure? The well's a pretty dangerous place. It might be too much for a first-time reporter. Actually, I can't help you right now, or if I help out, will you give me credit as co-author? Who do I look like, David Barron? Yeah, I'd give you credit for your work. Credits, too. I have a small budget for things like this. Consider it done. Great. I had three interviewees in mind. Teresa Mason, the owner of Kay's house, Henrik Zaran at Apex Electronics, 
and Nurse O'Shea from the medbay. You don't need to ask too many tough questions. I just want to read on how their businesses are doing, and how things are in the well. I really can't thank you enough. Okay, new quest, primary sources, but we still haven't finished this one. Do you have a story for me or not? The Crimson Fleet attacked an Argos mining facility on Vectera. Looks like some Crimson Fleet brainiac figured out it's easier to hit stationary targets than dogfighting in the field. And you are an eyewitness with the courtesy to find us instead of being chased down. Refreshing. So what were the pirates doing there? It's not their usual M.O. Oh yeah, that. Uh, I, I don't remember much. <laughs> um, you can take it from here, Captain. I mean, I've been taking it from the very beginning. We could divulge the beans and say Constellation commissioned the dig. The Crimson Fleet wanted the proceeds. We could say, I have no idea, glad I survived. Or we could say, we were mining beryllium, iron, and some rare minerals. Easy credits for them. Well, as a member of Constellation, we know that Constellation kind of wants to stay out of the, the limelight. Barrett here d definitely gave us a, an indication as to how he would answer things. So, perhaps we can say beryllium, iron, and rare minerals. Rare minerals, you say? That would be worth the price of admission. So what's your role in all this? Part of a tour group? Um, I worked for Argos, now I'm with Constellation. Again, we want to keep Constellation out of the news. I was one of the miners. I ran the whole dig. Supervisor Oxhorn, at your service, or I'd rather keep my name and role out of the story. Let's say I was one of the miners. Huh. I didn't realize Argos extractors hired such capable crew. So we've covered the basics. How about any harrowing tales of daring do? How'd a bunch of miners triumph? We, uh, I don't really remember. It was chaos. We had help. Barrett, a member of Constellation, and his robot Vasco. The mining crew banded together and fought them off with mining lasers. <laughs> I killed the whole lot of them single-handedly, where I took point on defense with my handy mining laser. We'll give credit to the whole mining crew. Huh. Sounds like a good outfit. The heroic miner is a good angle. This is a good local story. Plucky miners band together and punch above their weight. If you ever get more stories like this, drop by. And take this to cover any incidentals, or other creative ways to pad out an expense report. Alright, we got some money. Cool. Find new stories for SSNN. David's amazing, and I hear he's single. Oh gosh. Okay, well we need to get back to Constellation, <clears throat> but uh, while we're here, let's see if we can find some more vendors that we can sell at. Valberg. This looks like an apartment complex. Problem? Coffee shop. Gosh, being encumbered, I gotta pause and wait for my O2 to refill. Infinity Limited. Don't be nervous. You got this. Easy for you to say. Top of the class. Infinity is huge. Like, staggeringly huge. They need people like you. Even with your grades. Yeah. I'm sure a junior assistant is vital. It's your foot in the door. Show initiative, positive attitude, and the sky's the limit. I could see how you made head cheerleader. Go Timberwolves! Uh, <laughs> people don't talk like that. Welcome to Infinity LTD's corporate headquarters. All right, well, I'm guessing she's not a merchant. Enhance. Wow, 
You look completely different. Outland. <laughs> it's me. I mean, you look right, but isn't it going to confuse him? He won't even recognize you. I'll be mysterious. Ooh. Zoe, you are one in a million. Maybe for our third date, I'll be a redhead. Oh, dear God. I'll be mysterious. Ooh. <laughs> Come on. All right, this looks like a clothing outfit. I feel underdressed. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why they set up shop here. They'd be better off in neon, but Outland's used to people like us. So the hardware is worth the trip? Best in the settled systems. Expensive as hell, but once you are kitted out, we can go after the big bounties. I just wish everyone wasn't staring at us. Screw them. Let's do some business. All right, let's see if there's a merchant in here. Hello. Oh, you're only as safe as your equipment out there. Cornelius Town Townard. Welcome to Outland. We deal in only the finest, most reliable gear for whatever adventures may await you. All of our products come highly recommended by individuals who have devoted their lives to distant travel. And while I've never needed them myself, I stand by everything we offer. <clears throat> um... So you just fly out there buck naked? I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm surprised you don't use any of the things you sell. Or that's not very reassuring. Let's try this one, see what he says. Hmm, no, no flying for me. Not, not my style. Do you get a lot of repeat customers? I do. In this line of work, it's essential, don't you think? Not seeing people come back would not only suggest that they're not satisfied with our business, but that whatever they purchased had failed, leaving them unable to return. I would not be able to sleep at night if I thought that were the case. You've really never been to space? <laughs> Goodness, no, I just couldn't. You're out there millions of miles away from anything, and if something goes wrong, I can't stomach the thought. I prefer solid ground under my feet at all times. And preferably a hot, fresh coffee within reach. Can't get those in space either. All right, let's see what you got to sell. Uh, please do. I hope we have something that suits you. <laughs> Get it? Ah ha 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 ha. Arc welder. Cutter. Ooh. Arc welder. I see. Is that a more advanced cutter? Space suits. Oh. Nothing terribly interesting. All right, let's go to sell. Back to weapons. Were there any weapons I still needed to sell? Let's see. Yeah, I wanted to sell uh, this micro gun. That took nearly half of his uh, <laughs> his credits. Ryan or Stealth Equinox. Maybe I should just stick with one. I've got so many different weapons with different damage types, most of which are ballistic. And I have to say, I really enjoy ballistic weaponry. This stealth equinox was pretty devastating, though. Uh, the Orion was, was weird. When I was shooting the Orion, the laser beam kind of split off, and it didn't really seem like it was focused. So I don't know how well it would work as a sniper rifle. But I kind of want to save it. But then again, it's not even a um, it's not even a legendary item or or an epic item. Maybe I'll just sell both of them because I'm probably going to get a rare version of them later. But before I do that, I've got these really heavy spacesuits that sell for a lot, and I've already can't sell them. Wow. All right, fine. Let's just sell these and keep that. Okay. So, I'm doing better. I'm still encumbered, but doing a lot better. Uh, Alt, Art Pixel says, honestly, Neon is better for uh, more vendors to sell. All right, well, maybe I'll just wait to sell more until we get to Neon. 
Uh, Spork Saber says the Church of the Great Oxhorn, cigars at lunch, scotch at sunset. Violations of these tenants shall have their suspenders snapped. So say we all. Good luck on all your adventures. I'm down with that religion. Okay, I'm done selling. Let's move on to Constellation. Ah, uh, come on. Of course I can't fast travel while encumbered. Constellation is it is in mass, right? Yeah. I'm a student of Can you believe this tree was here before the city? Schemes and betrayal. Okay, well, I wanted to hear what you had to say, but my companion decided to talk over you. Diplomacy will never die. The question is, will it be used in good faith? What are your duties here? I used to work in interstellar affairs before I was dismissed due to some of the differences I had with management. But I am not retired, not by a long shot. After all, I can do more when detached from the strings of bureaucracy. Now that you're out of interstellar affairs, how do you spend your time? I do a lot of reading and take walks through the district. We don't have trees like this on the other systems. There's a calming presence about them, but that belies their inner strength. After all, Neither you nor I could pull out the roots of a tree on our own. For while there is beauty above, everything that matters happens under the surface. Very wise. What do you think of the Embassy District? It's grand, isn't it? A testament to humanity's ability to compromise and cooperate. But let's be honest. The treaty is nothing more than a carefully crafted artifice. If it's a testament to anything, it's mankind's ability to lie to itself. You think peace is a lie? Sadly, yes. The war with the Freestar Collective hasn't ended. The director has merely called for an intermission and the audience has departed to the lobby. But behind the curtain, the stagehands at mast are busy preparing for the next act. Okay, not everything has to be an, an, an analogy, my friend. I'm looking for work. Maybe I can help you. Excellent. I, I do have something you can help me with. In my spare time, I like to collect plants. The rarer, the better, especially from Earth. One of my prized collections is an olive seed. I'd like you to plant this seed in the atrium so that it may grow and be a symbol for peace. Why plant this seed here? A lone olive tree growing in this garden of alien life would send a message. People might interpret it as a message from God. And truth be told, I'm counting on that to happen. Really? Some might call it manipulation, but I like to think we're helping people choose what they need, 
rather than what they want. Who's gonna see a new plant growing and think that it's a message from God? Why not plant the seeds yourself? Incidentally, I did try, but the God had other ideas. Uh... Bad ideas, I'm sure. Involving more bruises than I was willing to endure. But if you are the sneaky type, perhaps you can do it undetected. Okay, I'll find a kid. Thank you. I'll have a reward for you when you return. Optional, hand the seed over to the guard. H.G. Hamilton says, Holy Starfield Oxhorn, I have a lot of streams to catch the up Jesia on. Love the videos. Beautiful. Cheers. They remind us how important it is to slow down. Thank you, H.G. Hamilton. President 99 says, A tip if I may, if it is only selling you want to do, the sign the guy leans on that repairs the ship for a thousand credits is the place. They are on many worlds. I also would suggest to buy ammo in bulk, the rest you'll find. Thank you, President 91. I actually did that until they ran out of credits, which is why I'm wandering around. But now I'm trying to focus on finding Constellation, and I forget where it's at. It's Armistice Archives. Oh my god. And of course I don't have a helpful map here. So, to find it... Wait, that's not gonna work because I don't have a quest that's leading me to Constellation. It's the star on the compass? Okay. Thank you, Art Pixel. I really do need that additional data. It's a privilege to be able to work for the UC government. I bet, and you know what? You're probably gonna get me a side quest and I'm not ready for it right now. Good old constellation. This place is a delightful relic tangled up with hope, grit, and science. All right, Brad, I think I'm going to leave you here. Sorry. I was lost in a memory for a moment there. How can I help? I think it's time we went our separate ways. Ha! <laughs> sure. You know where to find me if you miss my brilliant insights, though. There we go, okay, now which... I don't remember which bed was mine, but here we go. Lots of stuff to work on here. Uh, let's see. Pharmaceuticals, cooking, mission board, industrial workbench. I needed to make an Austin Tick manifold. I need to make that, but I don't have enough ionic fluids. Why did I need to make all of these zero wire? Okay, that takes nickel, but I've only got two nickel. Let's try... Active gauge, zero wire. I'm not going to be able to do anything until I get, um, I need nickel. Com I could have added a compensator, but I just used all my nickel. All right. Suppressor would have been nice, but I need polymer and muzzle mods too. 
So, uh, where's the research? There. Weaponry. I need barrel mods too, but that's blocked. I need weapon engineering. Fine. Swagopotamus says, if you go to Mateo's room in the lodge, you'll find a book. Trust me when I say this book is really cool. Okay. Uh, if I can figure out which room is Mateo's. Uh, first, I gotta figure out which room is mine. Is this my room? Nope, that's owned by someone else. Plushie. This is probably uh, N Nina's? Nira's? Upstairs says chat. All right. Oh. This must be that spacesuit you guys were talking about. So I can loot the mannequin if I get behind it? Well, if I can, I don't see an option to do so. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm stuck. Oh, for crying out loud, I'm stuck. Oh, for Pete's sake! Thank you. Yeah, that's a master lock. I'm not gonna be able to pick that. All right, let's 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 just unladen ourselves here. That leads to the well. Let's go upstairs. Hold on, gotta rest up a bit. Vasco, can you repeat what you just said? I did not formally address you, handsome. Let me just run a couple of tests. <laughs> Understood. I will prepare my system to begin the diagnostics. This will run as a background process, honey bundles of joy. <laughs> Good grief. <laughs> Who did this to you, Vasco? I do not know what you mean, Mr. Muscles. <laughs> It is kind of nice, though. <laughs> what exactly are you referring to, my precious pumpkin? Uh, never mind. Vasco, please quarantine any recently modified code relating to communications. Yes, sir. <laughs> that was great! I wish I could have more than one companion so that we can get there. Curious uh... feeling, knowing that you've seen something that no one else has. That you know something no one else does. So that we could get their banter. Well, that goes to New Atlantis. All right, which one's mine? This is not mine. And you're gonna have to tell me which one's Mateo's. I don't know which one's Mateo's. I mean, there's a lot of books here. Could this be Mateo's? He is the historian guy. And there's the book. Aja Mamasa's Diary. Seems like just yesterday I was pulled into this exciting new organization. Constellation. We would push the boundaries of human knowledge and experience by exploring farther into space than anyone had before. For all, into the Starfield. That's the name of the game. God, I was so young. We all were, but I was the youngest of us all. Now here we are, on the brink of disaster. The colony war may be over, but the settled system seems to just be waiting for the next one. Exploration is now, at best, quaint 
at worst, irrelevant. Fortunately, and it was no small feat, I've managed to put together a list of potential new members. They are Irvin Madani, young biologist and physician from the Freestar Collective, Barrett, promising young physicist from the UC, a colorful character to say the least, Alice Campbell, woman of action and pilot, claims to have flown every type of ship at least once, Russell Luther, astronomer and former Freestar Collective military, argumentative by effect, uh, by effective? Hmm. Did they mean but there? Argumentative but effective? Uh, Vizola Chen, philosopher, historian, specializes in humanity's early days of space explo exploration. Jin Tao Min, dedicated to finding truth among the stars. Neon Hitman, rumors are troubling. With any luck, this new blood will be just what Constellation needs to keep going. Maybe? Hopefully. From the personal diary of Aja Mamasa, former Constellation Chair. Okay, well that was really interesting, but I don't think that was the book you wanted me to loot. So we continue. It's possible that I may have found Oh, well, there's Mateo. So this is his room. And there's a book, Sir Livingstone's Second Journal. I heard tell from some of the old timers that although the Earth suffered its sad fate, that her faithful companion Luna fared much better. Apparently, you can still find the remain the remnants of the old Apollo missions, something of a secret rite of passage for chairs of constellation, if Banks was to be believed. During one of those rare interludes of calm, while doing other research on Earth, I figured I could spare the time. I was, as they say, in the neighborhood. It took some serious scanning and a couple false leads, but I found it. To walk in the same place as those earliest of interstellar explorers. Unbelievable what they achieved with such primitive technology. I found the whole experience moving, inspiring. I will advise my successor to do the same. We'll make a proper tradition of a chat. This is an excerpt from Sir Malcolm Livingston's second journal and... Activities visit the Apollo landmark on Luna. Hey, thank you very much, chat. That's exciting. All right, where's my room? I am encumbered. Hey, this is not my room. As much as I love uncovering new questions, I wouldn't mind a few answers now and then. That's Noelle's room. That's someone else's room. Storage closet, that's Mateo's room. This is my room. Yay, my room. Hooray. Okay, and there's the storage you were all telling me about. So, let me unload here. Uh, I'll sell these later. Uh, all right, now what I really want to do is trim down my weapons. I understand that... Um, each of these is going to be useful in its own uh, situations, but I really need to, to declutter. I really shouldn't have as many weapons as I have. So I'm going to keep this for melee combat just in case. Furi Furious sides start interesting, but uh, I think I should only take one pistol with me, and I want it to be the suppressed KM-311. So we'll store the Furious side start. A Lawgiver, that's going to be my sniper. I'll keep that. Um, ex exterminator modified uh, drum beat. Let's see. Shotgun. All right, the modified coachman does 49 damage. The drum beat does 50 damage. It's got a magazine of 30 and a greater fire rate. This has a magazine of two. So even though it is a legendary shotgun, it's so slow, I'm constantly reloading that I think for my shotgun, I'm going to go ahead with the... Space Adept Pacifier. It does more damage, only slightly. <clears throat> and it's got... Oh, I read it wrong. I was looking at the drum beat. But still, it's got a seven shell magazine, which is way more than the other one. So we'll go ahead with that. Von Rick says, if you take the kid stuff perk, your father gives you Livingstone's pistol. Really? Cool. Thank you, Von Rick. Now... I'm going to keep this one just in case I need to kill big bad stuff. Hunting rifle. Do I want to use the lawgiver or the hunting rifle? This does 33 physical damage. This does 34 physical damage. <clears throat> one second.
Okay, uh... The thing is, I really love the Lawgiver. It's such a cool weapon. It's got a fire rate of 10. This has a fire rate of 40. A range of 100, a range of 40. Accuracy of 77. Accuracy of 86. And it does only one less physical damage than <clears throat> the Lawgiver. But, and it takes a unique ammunition, however. I have way more rounds for the anti-personal uh, uh, modified lawgiver than I do for the hunting rifle. I'm not going to use that. I'm going to store it. I'll keep that just in case. All right, um, I'm going to choose between the drum beat and the maelstrom. The drum beat has a fire rate of 60, which is the same as the maelstrom, but it has a damage of 50, whereas this only has a damage of 12. It takes 11 millimeter. I've got fewer rounds of ammunition for that. That's why. Okay. Well, since the ammunition for this is so rare, I think I'll put that back. This can then be my mid-range machine gun. Okay. And I'm going to store all of my notes. God, did I really read all of these on camera? <laughs> That's a lot. Okay. And then these three are quest items. Uh, this is all stuff I need to sell. Ooh, snow globe. I want to save that. Yeah, it must have been the shard that we saw. I'll put that in there. And these are quest items. And I need to sell those. I only have five digipicks? Yikes. All right, so let's uh, retool our loadout here. Let's make uh, the pacifier three. Let's make the suppressed pistol one. Let's make the hunting rifle four. Let's make the combat knife two. Then we'll take the micro gun, make that six. Let's take the Maelstrom, make that five. And then I I just really like this, so I'm going to keep it on my inventory just because I like it so well. <laughs> Everything else is hotkeyed. Okay. One second. Okay, one second. Yeah, I think we're ready to move on. Okay, can we fast travel from inside? I want to go back to my ship.
Actually, shoot, I need to go get a new companion, don't I? I'm just tired of Barrett. So let's go back and get, what's her name? Sarah. Okay, Sarah, where are you? Why can't I? There we go. I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. I am very satisfied. Is she in bed? Vasco, quick. Top three one-liner moments. Yes, Barrett. Number three. Your retort to the Crimson Fleet Raiders on Leonis Three. Yes. Classic. Sarah is the Number best possible two, person. Your wise crack about the Ashta like and the Miner Focus to the, the patrons of the Stone Root Inn. I was on a roll. Number one, your counter to the demands of the ecliptic captain in orbit around Tau Seti Five. Hmm, that was a good one, but I'm not sure it's the top. That is the list you provided to me in the exact order you dictated. Shall I update the listing? Let me think on it, buddy. I'll get back to you. Bevo Latte says, Oxhorn, if you go into the ship menu option, when you open your menus, you can hit a button to open crew and assign the companion you want to your ship. Oh. Uh, cool. Go to crew? Crew. Okay, Barrett unassigned, uh, Sarah, let's assign her to the Razor Leaf. Okay, these, uh, I can't because, all right, there we go. Sarah, shit. Unassigned, unassigned. Okay. So then she'll be on the ship when I get there. It's a cool looking ship, gotta say. You'll have to unassign the other two? Oh, really? I can't have more than two assigned? It says that Heller and Lynn and Sarah are currently assigned to the ship. She doesn't count to be crew numbers. Okay. <clears throat> so I can still keep Lynn and Heller assigned to the ship and go find Sarah. Right. Back to the ship. I have things for you. Why do companions constantly tell me they got stuff for me? If it's food, I'm gonna be upset. I'll only like it if it's ammo or credits. Yes. Are you ready to head back out? Yes, yes, absolutely. Okay, she's now my active companion. Here. I have something for you. Uh a gift from me you shouldn't have. <laughs> oh, you're incorrigible. I picked it up on one of our latest planetary expeditions. I'm more than just an extra gun, you know. Uh, next time, I expect this to be gift-wrapped. <laughs> sure, sure. And I'll include a thank you card as well. Check back with me from time to time after we return from our planetary jaunts. If I pick anything up, it's all yours. Cosmic Leaf. What is a Cosmic Leaf? Co uncommon organic resource. This item can be used as a component in crafting. Okay. All right, let me dump some resources into here. Let's go to resources, store all resources. And there we go, miscellaneous. Oh, I was gonna sell that. Anyway, at last, 
Let's track the appropriate quest. No, not a light in the darkness. We want uh, into the unknown. Vladimir. I gotta say, the Mantis helmet, it's not doing it for me. And it's too. We're up. It's too ridiculous. I get that they wanted it to look like a praying mantis head, but it's just ridiculous. Orbital pattern locks in. Thank you, Sarah. Now we get to go to the eye. I'm excited about this constellation's own space station or satellite. The eyes open to you, constellation. All right. Well, then we gotta put some power to the engines so that we can get closer and board it. there. How close do we have to be? Okay, we're getting really close. There we go. And we dock. I'll never get tired of this boarding sequence. We have a clean dock right on the money. Let's board. Haven't set foot on the eye for ages. Hope Vladimir is in a good mood today. Jay says if you assign Vasco to your ship as well, Ox, he adds 40% to your shields. Might help in ship combat. Holy cow, yeah. I didn't realize that. I'll have to go back and get Vasco. That's great. All right, here we are on the eye, Constellation's own satellite. We need to go that way, but let's take a look here. Ooh. That's great. I wonder um, if photo mode will let us pop. Oh man, I kind of wanted to pop out. That helmet is so bad. I got to turn it off. It's so bad. <laughs> that helmet. Oh, toggle helmet. Bad lighting. I didn't do too bad a job. It really does kind of look like me, doesn't it? My outfit is so white. This is blocked up. Airlock F1. Whoa. What happened here? Vladimir. Are you okay, Vladimir? The cleaning robots haven't been doing their job. Airlock 1. Utility flight suit. This is 
another airlock going right out to space. Don't want to do that. More duct tape. Oh, it's vacuum tape, and it doesn't count as adhesive. That's strange. Airlock 01, and this one's uh, boarded up too with junk. Okay, Vladimir, how are you doing? When was the last time you saw a human being? Oh, look, we can see our ship docked. That looks so great. Wow, look at the detail. Hey. Okay, crew quarters, scanning control, and facilities. We'll start in crew quarters. Vladimir. Oh, I can't read his terminal. Hey, cheese! Yay, I needed that. Well, Vladimir's keeping fit, that's good. Good sign of mental health there. I should really be speaking to myself here. This is vacant. Von Rex says you can choose to have armor and helmets hidden when you move out in places needing, um, based on the need of the air. It's the T key, pressed by default in equipment menu. So since you guys have told me that many times, I'll go ahead and, uh, in equip equipment menu. Hide helmet in breathable areas. Boom. Hide spacesuit in settlements. Boom. Okay. All right, so we've got a vacant crew quarter here. Nothing interesting in there. Another vacant one. Credits. Red Harvest, none. That's a crafting component. What's this say? Reminder, potato tacos on Tuesday, Vlad. <laughs> At least he's got Taco Tuesday in space. All right, we got storage. And that's blocked. Let's see what's in washroom. Reminds me of an airplane toilet. Oh, did you read the news about that recent awful thing that happened on an airline when someone had diarrhea? Oh, I can't even imagine. Deep Seeker spacesuit. Probably looks really cool, but the one I'm wearing is way better. Diarrhea up and down the walkway. Everyone had to be evacuated. It's a nightmare scenario. That poor person. Everyone in the world is talking about it, too. God, couldn't even imagine. All right, there's Vlad. Let's see. Uh, facilities F01. <coughs> Physical training. No pain, no gain. Arnold would be proud. Meal pack X. Hey! Peak performance. Permanently increases carrying capacity by five kilograms. Yeah. Perk magazine. Click on the toilet paper in the bathroom. Really? I can click on the toilet paper in the bathroom? Storage. Circuit board. Research lab. Spacesuit workbench. Small area. Washroom. Okay. Uh, nothing's happening when I click on the toilet paper in the bathroom. Cafeteria. 
particle fuse. Oh, this is ammunition for the energy weapon we have. Solar's Frontier game. Not a lot of food in the cafeteria, just a bunch of ammo. <laughs> Fridge. Hey, what's this? Onion, potato. Lots of potatoes. I guess I should have come here if I wanted to solve that quest yesterday uh, by getting all the potatoes. Okay. Well, look. More ammo. Well, Vladimir, do you even eat? Right. That's it. Let's go talk to Vlad. That's Vlad! Oh, he's a muscle guy. Not what I was expecting. Hey, Vlad! We got a rook on deck. Good to see Constellation getting some fresh blood. Rook on deck? That's pirate talk, isn't it? I'm no rook. I was a space miner. Good to meet you, Vladimir. Or we can pass a fitness check to say in here. I thought I was the only one in Constellation who worked out. Nice arms. Ah. Gotta pass the hours on the star station somehow. And the iron's always been good to me. Just don't challenge him to an arm wrestling competition. Wish I could have been down at the lodge to see the artifacts come together. But I got a little lost peeking through the eye. Peeking through the eye? What, is that more pirate talk? That one's all on me. The eye is the nickname for the star station. Think of it as one big telescope. Someone should have grabbed you. It was incredible. Or we can say, yeah, that happens to me too. I get lost in something and lose time. Always preferred working alone, even around people I like. But we're all working together on this one. No finer group in the stars to be unraveling this mystery. Now, this station, the Eye, rigged up for deep space scans. Barrett and Sarah teased out the signs of where our artifacts could be hiding after we caught our second one. But the data takes a slow ride along the Sea of Light. Years or decades between us and the fringes of space without a grav drive. The Sea of Light? No matter how good the scan, it's still just peeking at light, and she only has one speed. Ultimately, we're not looking at a planet. We're looking at the radiation coming off a planet. And that takes years to get here. A lot of interstellar bodies in the way, too. All that noise makes squaring the circle harder. I'm only going to be able to give you so many at once. You're asking me to chase ghosts. There could be nothing or understood. I need to check on these leads in person. You won't be the only constellation out there. Andresia and Matteo are both following up on scans themselves. Matteo went out recently, but Andresia... It's been a while. Hate to pull the worried old man act on you, but... I'm an old man, and... I'm worried. <laughs> who's Andrea? Another rook in constellation who's making a name for herself. Likes to be on her own. I can relate, so I try to look out for her more than most. Exploration takes time. I'm sure she's fine. But you know what? Uh, his instinct is probably on point here, because he actually knows her, so I'll keep an eye out for Andrea. Yes, indeed. Stop worrying so much, Vladimir. If she's out there, we'll find her. 
She should be at one of the two sites I've marked on your star map. Can take care of herself, but we all need backup sometimes. Anyway, hopefully you'll be catching Fortune's smile and we'll have some more artifacts to take a closer look at. Happy hunting. Thank you, Vladimir. Okay, so we need to go to Procyon 3 and Tau Seti 3B. But let's chat with Vladimir since we've got him here. Your artifact search must be a full-time job. That's why I missed your little welcome party. Got caught up plotting all the data the eye can give us. Wouldn't mind the helper's hand, though. Could speed the process along. Up-to-date planetary scans would help filter all the data I have to sift through. Maybe help to find the anomalous bits. And Constellation can slide a credit or two your way. All part of the mission of charting the stars, right? Yeah, right. To some scans. Where do I get these scans? When you're orbiting a planet, your ship's scanners can pick up all sorts of information. Signs of life, resources, structures where they shouldn't be. It all gets downloaded into data you can hand over to anyone who's interested. And Constellation is always more interested than most. I've got other things to do. For survey data, I can get that for you. Then we're hand in hand in agreement. Now, get out there and burn some helium. Yeah, you got it. So you visit the Lodge often? I make the visit when they need me. Don't mind the loner's life most days, and the eye is important work. But I should make the trip more often. Can't let Walter be the only one tending bar there too long. Everyone will forget what a good drink tastes like. I just got a quest log update to talk to Sarah, so I'm thinking that through this dialogue I must have increased my affinity a bit because she liked a couple of things I said to unlock the next chapter in her story. How did you get mixed up with Constellation? Ever run the scholars on the Centaurus proclamation? The original treaty that gave every human the right to colonize the stars? Stolen by some fool's joke of a crimson fleet rook looking to trade names to Captain. Sight to see pinned above my chair, like the whole settled systems was mine for the taking. Time dances its years forward, and I'd retired. That's when our own Sarah Morgan walks into the tale. Fire in her eyes and her head full of intel I thought I had spent the labor's efforts burying. Of course, I didn't have the Centaurus proclamation just lounging in my pockets belonged to the ship and her new captain in the fleet I had left behind. Tipped your ear long enough, but the short line of it, Sarah and I returned the treaty to the rightful owners, and I decided to hang around, lend an old pirate's wisdom to the mission. So, I mean, he's, he, I love the accent, but it's the line delivery on many of these characters that goes back to your point you guys were saying earlier about how some of the uh, dialogue sounds a little stilted and wooden. Yeah, I mean, you clearly have a, a, an image of these guys standing in a room looking at a sheet of paper and just reading their lines without getting the appropriate direction they need because some of these lines, they don't sound like the way a normal person would say them. If you and don't we, want to talk, we don't have to. We've gotten a few of them from Vladimir. But that was actually a really interesting piece of lore because we learned about the Centaurus uh, proclamation when we did the Vanguard thing a couple of streams ago and we found those displays. The s proclamation was uh, one of the first things that they did after landing at New Atlantis. People wanted to venture out and become independent and the Centaurus proclamation was the UC's way of allowing them to go out and found new civilizations. That's how the Free Star Collective was formed, and it's <clears throat> how it was the uh, the seed that started all of these wars, I suppose. Uh, but it's really interesting that he actually had the physical copy of the proclamation that he stole until it was delivered back to the rightful owners. So you're retired from the Crimson Fleet. I've lost you. Didn't know that happened. Usually it doesn't. I'm overdrawn from Lady Luck three times over. It's a long tale to tip your ear on, but if you ever wanted to visit, I have a house out there in the Starfield. Thought I was going to see life's eclipse from there, but Constellation swept me away. 
haven't been there since we started on the eye. If you do go there, turn the lights off when you leave, okay? When you Very moment, poetic. I'd like to speak to you. I thought I would see my life eclipse over there, a.k.a. die. All right, Sarah. Remember our last conversation, when you told me the artifacts made you feel like you were being pulled across the entire galaxy? Well, it got me thinking. So I dove into our archives and started looking through Constellation's older journal entries. Just because I wasn't familiar with the experience you described doesn't mean the same might have been true for my predecessor. Were any of the old journal entries helpful? Uh, unfortunately, no. Other than you and Barrett, there were no records of direct encounters with the artifacts. I have to admit, though, I did get more than a bit sidetracked reminiscing about old times. You never mentioned your predecessor to me before. Really? I'm surprised that I haven't. After reading those journals, all of the pleasant memories of my time spent with Aja just started flooding back. Aja? Aja Mamasa. She was the youngest member of Constellation when it was founded. Only took her 15 years to reach chair. Only. Sorry, I sometimes get so caught up in my own bubble, I forget that I wasn't the first. I believe it was her book that we read in that one room when we first arrived at Constellation in today's broadcast. Keep talking like that and I might get jealous. <laughs> God, that's not even a flirt option. Aja must have been quite an amazing person. I feel like we're making some good memories of our own. Let's just go, Aja must have been an amazing person. Ah, she absolutely was. Aja was the one that taught me the ropes at Constellation and took me under her wing as her protege. Let's see, uh, being paired with the boss must have been quite an honor. The rookie being paired with the chair sounds awfully familiar. Maybe she was just trying to keep an eye on this rookie, which is what she said she was doing to us. Um, Brian Isaac says, assign all companions to your ship. Can I do that? Is that wise to do? Okay. Let's try this. Hey, so I pinched a few ideas for my old boss. <laughs> Can you blame me? At any rate, we logged quite a few discoveries together, but it was the actual journey that I cherished the most. Did you discover anything that I might have heard about? We catalogued unusual stellar phenomena, a few habitable worlds, and some unique life forms, but nothing SSNN would bother to report. I find the journey boring, but I live for the destinations. Probably not what she wants to hear, so we'll say I can relate to that. Exactly. For me, it was all about the quieter moments. There was... Nothing quite like sitting back and watching space bend while listening to Aja spin vivid stories to fill the time. Oh, I find that sort of cozy isolation the best way to really get to know someone. This is getting very intimate. Cozy isolation? Yeah, you know, being alone in interstellar space. Nothing but light years of black around you. Some people find that terrifying. I find it... comfortable. It helps me bond with my shipmates. Bond, eh? <clears throat> That's good to know since I'm gunning for your position. I take it I'm the protege in this journey, or so I've noticed. Um, let's try, I take it I'm the protege on this journey. At this point, I'd say you've graduated from protege and moved up the ladder. A bit. A bit. You know, all this talk about Aja reminds me that my time with her was a gift. I miss her dearly. Aww. Uh, we could say, oh, is she, uh, dead? <laughs> At least she left a vacancy for you to fill his chair. That's a bit callous. It sounds like you two were in love. Let's try that. Well, I respected her, and I considered her a dear friend. But we weren't in love. 
Had that been true, I would have resigned my post and moved to Parima 2 instead of remaining at Constellation. Come to think of it, if we're ever out that far, perhaps we could pay her a visit and I could make proper introductions. So she's still around, okay. Are you sure visiting Aja now would be such a good idea? Oh, don't worry. There's no bad blood between us. The worst that might happen is you get stuck listening to two old friends catching up on old times. Um, well, hopefully I'm a suitable substitute. Yeah, you'll do. <laughs> Look, I don't expect you to be an exact copy of Aja. Your hunger for exploration to pierce the veil and seek the unknown. It's a common bond that we share. I wouldn't have it any other way. And there it is. We can flirt and say, I'd like to discover more about what we have right here. I... I don't know if I deserve to be that close to anyone right now. Deserve? If you knew about the things that I've done, the way my life's unfolded, I think your opinion of me might change. Please, give me some time. I, 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 I have to go. Oh, okay. Goodness. Sarah, are you okay? <laughs> All right, uh, we got an updated activities there. Let's see. Visit Vladimir's house. Visit the Apollo landmark on Luna. That's right, we wanted to do that. Uh, what about uh, going to Aja's home? I don't see. I still haven't, like, check out your ship's inventory. How has this not been checked off yet? All right. Okay, Jeez, so much to do. Uh, well, uh, oh, that's part of this quest. Find Andresia. Oh, no, that's not, that's not, okay. That's not Aja. Andrea, Andrea is the other constellation member that has gone missing. <clears throat> and we will find her on one of these two planets, Pro Procene 3 or Tau Ceti 8b. I want to go to the one where she's not, so that I can fully explore both locations before the quest log updates. And I'm not sure which one of those it is. If I had to guess, it would be Tau Ceti 8b, simply because we already had another quest that sent us to Tau Ceti previously. So I think I'll do this. Okay. Well, uh, if Brian is correct, and I should assign all companions to my ship, then that means I should assign Barrett. No assignments are currently available for Barrett. And Vasco, but I don't see Vasco here. Hmm. Uh, Jay says, any companion you have will pass on their relevant perks to you, to your ship, slash outpost, so you don't have to invest in them yourself. It will highlight. The number is indicated by crew slots on your ship screen. I see. Cargo hold. Let me know when you're ready to launch. Hey, how's it going? Hello. Let's undock. All green on release. We're free to fly. Awesome. So these are our two options. Um, that's Jemison, but that's not okay. It's making us open the map for that. And which one is that? That's Tau Ceti. My guess is that's where we need. That's where we should go first. So let's go there. Art Pixel says Must that ship. Must have been ship, a good jump. We're still in one piece. He says that ship only allows two at the moment. 
You have to talk to Vasco again to get him as your crew, and you need a perk and some upgrades to hold more crew. Thanks. Um, yeah, I'll have to deal with that. Uh, Alright, so that's the other one. So this is where we need to go. There's Tau Ceti. Let's open the planet map, and let's land. We've been here before. Have we scanned it? We haven't. Let's go and scan it. 33%. Deserted UC listening post. I don't remember having a nose ring. <laughs> Beginning landing cycle. It looks like we have some fauna out here. A flocking trihorn grazer. Cliffberry. A pack Ankylosaurus. Don't attack me, I'm not interested. I'm just scanning. Oh, fine. guys are super hostile. Yeah, this is the planet where the terror morph was. I'm bleeding. Uh, now I'm no longer bleeding. All right. I want to finish scanning. this I am loving this shotgun <laughs> I'm bleeding again okay <clears throat> I need to take care of my bleeding let's go to aid what do I have that cures bleeding uh, anchor to mobilizers torn muscle Fractured limb, melee damage, heal gel, treats burns and frostbite, uh, heart plus, health damage, that's for talking, injector, concussion, heat stroke, hernia, hypothermic poisoning, radiant, med pack, restores health, movement noise, restores health, synapse alpha, research project, synth meat, veal, trauma pack, restores health. Do, do I have nothing that restores bleeding? You need bandages. Well, I don't have bandages. I guess I'll just bleed out.
Med pack. that for crafting, don't I? Ornamental? Do I need that for anything? I don't think so. Okay, I don't need to scan the ankylosaur anymore. Flocking trihorn grazer? Hope you've calibrated that thing. So there are dinosaurs on this planet. <laughs> Why? How are there dinosaurs on this planet? Oh, there's another body here with loot. See it now. Okay, well, we're getting <laughs> sidetracked here. All right, there's water. We're three of seven of uh, resources. We're zero of six of flora. We're one of seven of fauna. Guess I'll just keep healing myself until my bleeding goes away. Okay. Pirate Brigand. Zero wire. I'm really enjoying the gunplay. It's such an improvement from Fallout 4. You know, I know I was never terribly disappointed with the gunplay in Fallout 4. It was such an improvement from Fallout 3 in New Vegas that I was just in heaven. But this is uh, so much more comfortable, so much more fluid. Uh, it's less clunky. It's by no means perfect, but it's a significant improvement and it's thoroughly enjoyable. Deserted UC listening post. Chameleon, pirate assault spacesuit. See if they've uh, got any weapons or ammo. I'm gonna get encumbered by all sorts of stuff, won't I? Calibrated maelstrom. Is that a bandage? No, nope, it's a rag.
Okay. Let me get my little silenced pea shooter here. I mean, it's not really a pea shooter, is it? Here we go. Wait, do I have levels? I don't. I've spent everything. Okay. Want to get those sneak criticals? Oh, shoot. Oh, he's right on the other side of that glass. We've got company. Come on, open the door. I'm going for it. Get out of my way, Sarah. I hope they're not gonna open the door, huh? You've got nothing, nothing! No mercy! Better than me! Oh! Oh, I love it! It's so great! Midnight Delight? Oh, it's food. Whoa, where did they go? I mean, I like being able to loot my, my surroundings. Got a couple of options. We could go explore this way. Or we could go explore that way. I think I want to go explore that way, but first let's explore this Cowards. room. Shotgun shells. Wait. Did you hear that? I did, I did. Okay. <laughs> Think it's clear now? The Gravity Paradigm? I don't believe I've read this one yet. Truth is, what our scientists didn't know back then could fill volumes. The focus, of course, was on wormholes and not only creating, but maintaining a stable and sustainable Einstein Rosen bridge. That was the goal, the end point. No one had even considered that maybe that was just the beginning. 
When we look at grav drive technology today, and the ease at which we fold space and travel light years in existence, I'm sorry, travel light years in seconds, it's sometimes easy to forget the impossibility of what we've achieved. Dr. Josephine Intow's seminal work continues for another 535 pages and has become the most highly respected text on grav drives and grav uh, jumping ever written. <clears throat> Time for cigar number three. Fighting may have ended, but many hearts are still waging the war. Whatever that means. A tale of Two Cities, we've read that. Ah, oh, man. My favorite minigame. Okay, this is only for the bottom ring, so let's uh, line that up real quick. No. No. Yes. That leaves uh, two on the top and two on the side. Do we have any like that? We do. And there it is. All right, so that's the bottom sorted. All three. So this is going to be for the middle. Um, that would work. And that's the only one that would work. Let's keep going. Also for the middle. Well, that would work. So... We'll have to put that there. So if these two are for the middle, we've got... Oh no, that's going to be there. So then we won't use this one. We've got that for the middle. Wait a minute. We've, we've got that for the bottom ring. We need to start looking at the top. Now this is for the middle. Oh my god. Alright, so there are a few for the top. These two middle can work on the top. And that can work on the top. Those are the only ones that can work on the top. Thankfully, we've only got... Alright, so then this can go here. And this can go there. Alright, makes things a little easier. This only works on the middle. Which leaves, uh... Oh, that's not gonna work. There we go. That leaves three on the top, which we can do with this. Bingo. So those two go on the middle. That's gonna leave this one there. Okay, I think I can sink it. That leaves uh, those four to the side, right there. If that was locked, there must be something they don't want us to find. Art Pixel says main quest empty nest is a little shorter than the main quest you're on now if you wanted to knock it out first. Well, I'm already on this one. So, uh, I'll tackle it. Advanced AA-99? That's a brand new one. AA-99 with 11 millimeter ammo? Ooh! 48 physical damage. Fire rate of 112. Wow, that is a high fire rate. 
much faster than my Maelstrom. And it does more damage than the Maelstrom. Takes a different ammo, though. Do I have any other weapons that use the, uh... The 11? No. At least not on my inventory. Interesting. Solstice, combat knives. Storage checklist. The following items are property of the security team. No unauthorized use under any circumstance. All items must be checked out prior to use and returned by the end of the day. The A99 assault rifle times two, combat tech solstice times one, UC combat knife times five. Follow up with me ASAP if anything goes missing. Susan Williams, chief of security. There's the other advanced A99. Cool. Now we're in the cafeteria. Nuclear firing. Oh, that's right, I threw a grenade. <laughs> Menu for this week, you got this. Ellie Ramos, head chef. I'll be going off world next week, so you'll need to step up and run the kitchen while I'm gone. I know that you're not exactly used to being in charge, but I know you're capable. Here's an example menu you can use for the week. Monday, vegetarian foe. Tuesday, obviously tacos. Wednesday, Cobb salad. Thursday, no meat, shepherd's pie. Well, then what's the point? Friday, miso ramen. Don't forget to prepare vegan options of all the non-vegan meals and always rehydrate your ingredients ahead of time. You got this. So until recently, a functioning lab that has somehow become besieged. Maybe we can find out exactly why the pirates decided to come here. Credits, they were gambling. Yep. Okay, so the downstairs is over there to the left. I believe this is gonna lead, yeah, downstairs to that lower level. And that's where our quest marker is going. So let's uh, complete the uh, the exploration of this facility by going back here. Crimson Cabin? Have I read this one? I don't think so. 2301 finally saw the release of Crimson, uh, Crimson Cabin, Paul Lamont's long-awaited sequel to the hit novel The Fruit Cellar. Like his previous work, it sold in the millions throughout the settled systems. Freedom. Savory, delicious freedom. The hag smiled as she peered up at the open trap door. She slithered, rather than climbed her way up the narrow, rickety staircase. In seconds, she emerged from the fruit cellar into the cabin proper. Someone, some unknown ally to the dark, had broken the arcane seals that had been put in place years before. Sunlight, glaring and harsh, poured in through the open front door. And now, hissed the hag, I will leave this cabin behind and visit my beloved Vermont once more. We don't get Vermont on our map? No? Come on, I want to go to Vermont.
Ah. Oh well, it's only two. Both the first. Bingo. Um both 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 the last. So that goes there. That goes there. That goes there. Finishes that off. And then for that, we just need that, which goes there. Haven't seen. Zero G gimbal. So breast calibrated maelstrom. A lock picked that easily since I traveled with Vladimir Sol. Hey. Oh, we got book. Carry of the Cosmos. First published in the year 2301, Carrie of the Cosmos tells the story of Carrie, an overweight, lovable, unassuming young gal who ex unexpectedly gained cosmic powers and used them to defend the weak and underprivileged. The following is an excerpt from that work. Oh, really? asked Carrie as she removed the terry cloth tie from around her waist. Her bathrobe came... Her bathrobe came open, revealing the unicorn pajamas beneath. Just then, the tie transformed into Carrie's signature weapon, a mighty spear called the Unicorn's Horn. Then maybe you should pick on someone your own size. Me! Carrie hurled the spear at the robber. After all, it was incredibly rude of him to try and rip off her favorite terror brew when she was grabbing a latte and pinned the unlucky, larcenous lech's shirt to the wall. Wowza, said Carrie. Security in New Atlantis just ain't what it used to be. God. Well, let's hope she didn't write a sequel. Wait. What was that? <laughs> Sorry, guy, you were in the bathroom, and I interrupted. My bad. Bad people, bad jokes three. Oh, the last one was two. Okay, are you ready for the uh, dad jokes? Here we go. A chunk's chunk walks into a bar. Bartender says, we don't serve food around here. Chunks, or chunk sits down and says, then I guess I'm in the right place. <sighs> knock, knock, who's there? Broken sword. Broken sword who? Oh, never mind. It's pointless. How many atheists does it take to screw in a light bulb? <laughs> None. They're already enlightened. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> That's gonna ruffle some feathers. What's the last thing to go through a Free Star Militia member's mind when they meet a United Colonies Marine? A laser beam. Hmm. Why don't terror morphs eat clowns? Because they taste funny. Unlike the first two volumes he published, Lewis Looper's Bad People, Bad Jokes Volume, uh, Jokes Volume 3 never really gained much of an audience. Popular theory suggests that by the time of its release, people were already tired of Looper's terrible jokes. I'd say that's probably a good assessment. Wow. They even have a toilet paper tube. They thought of everything, didn't they? Sell key, hey. All right. Move, there you go. Oh, bottle. Thank you. 
Okay. Seaweed mini bite? Ew. Oh, thank you. Blue collar off work hat. Credit. Return book to Tommy. Right. Finish uh, pulling over here. Game of Dark. Who are they? Is that like uh, House Varun or something? Okay, well, we know that going back that way is going to lead us to the staircase that goes down, but I'm curious as to what takes us this way. Ah. Gym. Okay. Oliver tw Twist, we've read that. Hey, peak performance two permanently adds five percent to melee weapon critical damage. All right, I'll take it. Caseless ammunition. Doing good so far. Pretty good on ammo. Ah, that leads to the loading bay that we skipped earlier. Let's finish around here first, and then we'll uh, go down into that cargo bay or whatever it is. All right, this uh, circles back around, which is good, but let's finish exploring this. Oh, we came from there. Yeah, yeah, okay. And so we started by going that way. So, let's go this way finish the circle. Yeah, this leads to that safe. Right. I think we've done everything but go down into the loading bay. Um, I probably want to have some height advantage, but let's see where this goes. Space Adept Ripshank. I'm sure they had something we can use. I think my melee weapon is a legendary, so I probably don't want to swap it out. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Anti-personnel, med theft, and shattering. Space Adept Ripshank does 10 physical damage, but it's got the Space Adept Rare Effect, which is less than useful, and this does 16. So what I have is better. Right, we need to go that way. I think we cleared this room out. So let's loot these and then go in a counterclockwise or a clockwise fashion here. Space Adept Maelstrom. Man, they really like the Space Adept Legendary effect, don't they? It's on almost everything. But I have found that most of the combat I've been doing has not been in space. So it's less useful to me. All right, this is gonna connect upstairs with that. All right, making connections. This goes here where we came in and we killed them all from up there. And then this goes down around there to the exit that we need to follow. So all roads lead to Rome. Let's finish exploring <laughs> over here. I'm still bleeding, wow. So do I continue to bleed until I use bandages? Well, well, what have we here? I think we found a, ooh, what have we here? Ah, 
Othgrendel says, how many Amish does it take to screw in a light bulb? What light bulb? <laughs> Thank you for that one. All right, so this is for the top. Uh, this is not used. This is for the top as well. Um, but we've... Okay, so that's actually better. This comes around over there. And then those can be used for both the bottom and the top. This is bottom only, which means all we got to do for the top, or for the bottom there is... Nope, that's too wide. And that, frustratingly, is too narrow. Which means... We need to use that for something else. Or not at all. I mean, it's, it fits perfectly right there, which makes me think I would want to use that. But if we do, since this can't be used on either of them, and these are both too narrow or too shallow, and this has to be used on the bottom, we can't use that for the top. So... If we put this here, and then put this, no, because then we'd have to use this. So this is going to be the one that fits perfectly in, nope, that's too, all right, so we need to figure out what goes there. And it's that. However, it's got one prong too much. This is too wide. That's got two prongs, or one prong too much. And this is too narrow, so it can't be done there. Oh. We could flip, flip that over there. And then, oh, I see. Okay, so then this can be used here. And this can be used there. Right? Yeah. There, and then there. And then that covers everything. Amp, shotgun shells, and 500 credits. Okay, how do I open it? I told you, there's no one there. Well then what's the point of it? If I can't use this to get behind them, what's the point of it? Because I come in from the other angle. interesting that there is another vent over there, but we can't seem to get into it unless there's a way to drop down into it from up here. Because it's flowing right beneath this. Okay, well we're just gonna have to go the old fashioned way.
credits and a positon battery. I think we've cleared the room. Might as well take what we can. I'm surprised we haven't found any terminals yet. Ooh. Neon gang culture. I believe this is new, and yet, despite its reputation as the settled system's premier pleasure city, Neon is also home to a plethora of criminals, ruffians, and assorted dregs. Some of these malcontents merely walk the streets alone, preying on lost tourists who have strayed too far from the beaten path. Actually, I think we did read this one. Right, and we don't see the door that leads to that vent from here, which means we need to keep going. to me to try and melee down the boss. Assisted carry calibrated ground. What? Crew pack? Arc welder. Wow, I got a rare arc welder? Assisted carry calibrated ground crew pack. O2 boosted, oxygen capacity, antiseptic, 25 airborne resistance, assisted carry drain, 75% less O2 when running while encumbered. All right, so it's got better th uh, thermal, airborne, and O2, but physical is halved. Energy is down by three or so, and EM is nearly halved as well. So the Mantic Pack is... Better... Yeah, it's better. Magark Welder. 55 physical damage. 
with the space adept legendary effect. No, 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 that's the, that's the, okay, the arc welder does 16 energy damage with extended magazine. All right, so we also need to look out for the cells because we found that cell key. And I'm curious as to what's inside the cell. All right, this is a dead end. Ah, <laughs> expert, God, why? Okay, uh, this is for the bottom rung, so let's go ahead and put that there. That uh, leaves us with one more. And which we can solve with that. So first two off bounds. None. This is going to be used for all three. So we're either going to uh, do middle. Hold on. Let's see what else is. Oh, this one can only be used down there as well. However, this can be used. Oh, okay. So this is used for the middle rung. This has to be used for the bottom rung, which leaves one. But we can't do that. We can. But there's nothing else left for the bottom rung. Oh no, we can use this one for the bottom rung. And it's already where it needs to be. All right, so we've solved the bottom. No, wait, that needs to go, yeah. So we've solved the bottom. We've solved the middle. We now need to solve the top. So it can't be yet that. Now this could go there, and then this could go there. Bingo, we did it. Right. Oh, for Pete's sake. Calibrated deep mining space suit. It's worse, except for radiation, so I'm not going to worry about it. Prototype equipment, but it's probably worth a lot. Still, I don't want to bother carrying something. All right, we get to do this again. Even though we unlocked a master one, we got to do a novice. Still, it's going to be easier as this is for the bottom only, so... That goes there. See, if that goes there, then this has to go there. Boom, bottom done. That goes there. That goes there. Okay, I'm getting through the locks. I've done 12 of 15 for my next challenge. Hard times? Did we read hard times? I think we might have. Let's check it out. Book the first sewing. Uh, chapter one, the, the one thing needful. Now, what I want is facts. Yes, we did read this. So we'll close that and then drop it because I don't want another copy. Okay, and what's this? Hey, credits, cartridge. Nice. Prognosis improved. Yeah, my bleeding is done. So I just had to wait it out. The origin of species, simpler times, and great expectations. The only one I don't recognize is simpler times. Did we read this one? The foreword to a non-fictional account of life in New Homestead, collected from residents over the years. Originally published in 2324. Yeah, I believe this is new. If anyone tells you, like the title of this book, that life back in the early colonies could be described as quote-unquote simpler times, they're full of it. The title, thusly, is a repudiation of the idea. You'll see the claims in various forms of media, brochures, and other corpora corporatized devices that life was somehow simpler than we had it today. The portrayals in such series as the old family-friendly show Hab on the Ice, for instance, paint an idealized perspective of New Homestead that couldn't be further from the truth. 
Life was never simple here. The people you're about to hear from, some dating back to the mid 2100s, provide a unique insider view into what was it was likely really like on Titan. You'll read about their struggles in the New Frontier era, as well as more current accounts of what it's like to preserve that veneer while dealing with a galaxy that has moved on. Forward by Amalia Seged. Man, I'm going to have quite the library by the time I'm done. I hope I can get a shelf in my settlement or whatever where I can organize all my books. Oliver Twist, we've read that. Credits. Ooh. Explorers Orion? Explorers Orion, what is that? Ooh. Oh, it's an Orion. Right, okay. It's worth 7,000, though. That's quite a lot of... Quite a chunk of change. Energy weapon, 33 energy damage. Looks cool. I kind of want to try it out. It's big, though. It's taking up a lot of real estate in my sights. Okay, we're quickly making the rounds here. Well, I suppose they're not going to need it anymore. And that, presumably, leads back to that emergency vent. I don't understand why they would put this there, because it, it's not like it... Um, ...gives us a back passage or anything. Ah! Sorry, back up. Yeah. So if we could have blasted this from the other side, maybe it would have been useful, but we couldn't. Right, and I believe this is where we came in at. Maybe, maybe not. And we're encumbered. Selkie! Suppressed calibrated maelstrom. I guess that's it. So a, a maelstrom with some decent mods on it, long barrel and a suppressor. But we've already got our nice little suppressed pea shooter here, which I really like. And hold on, we got more bodies that we haven't looted yet. There. Okay. Um, I wanted to try this out, but I also need to use my silenced weapon. Yeah, what is it? Straight Feel gear. free to drop some stuff into my bag. Right, let's go to inventory and weapons and let's jump. 
I kind of wanted to try that out too. Spoilers, Orion. Arc welder. Dump that. Rip tank. Okay. Talk to you later. Artifact piece. Looks like we accidentally chose right. Kaleomite? a really rare resource, huh? I wonder if the arc welder actually makes us makes quicker work of this. I gave her the arc welder, didn't I? Did I get them all? I think I did. Is that a rare resource or not? Use a weapon to break the deposit, okay. So we still need to go to Procyon 3, which is great. I didn't miss out on one of the objectives. Ah, oh, nobody says you can charge the cutter for easier mining. No. Oh. Well, this is good. Should I get the rest of these?
battery goes up to the right. Wow, that one was a big one. It took the entire thing. taking a while. I think I got most of them. Oh, I gotta wait till the crosshair goes red. There we go. Okay. Found the artifact. I'm still bleeding. Well, not enough lore there to tell me what was. Ah! I missed that the last time I walked close to the door. Didn't notice. Uh, <laughs> didn't notice all of uh, the landmines that had been planted. Well, uh, there wasn't enough lore in that building for me to do a dedicated video on it. Um, didn't really learn what they were doing here in this lab. I mean, interesting in that we could find the cell and all that, but we don't. We don't get an answer to what what the scientists were doing here. So it's not really an interesting lore video. Okay. I guess we go to the next one. Let's uh, find the ship. There's a science outpost and a civilian out outpost. Pretty good resources here, but no iron. So probably not the good, the best spot for a base. Ugh, recycled air. Just isn't the same as the real thing. Lifting off now. Aim point reached. Orbit stable. It's close to Seoul. Procyon A. That never Switching gets old. Over to standard engines.
full point available. Couldn't loot it? Are these just space parts or can I loot any of this? All right, let me see if I can find the other wreckages. Maybe I did already loot them. There we go, we're getting closer. Oh, that's a glider. Okay. How many more? Two? Three. No, two. Okay. Okay, there we go. And then we can land here. Let's put this bird on the ground. Well, that fight led me to leads me to believe that um the simulation we did Thank for the UC Vanguard. Thank you for Vanguard. to harvest from this world. 
that the simulation we did for the UC Vanguard was actually really uh, not realistic. It was more difficult than it really needed to be because um, we fought multiple ships, uh, four or five of them, and we took them all out. going on? What's, what's beeping? Something was beeping a minute ago. <laughs> okay, find Andrea. I've heard asteroid mining is some of the most dangerous work in the settled systems. Ooh, disable the mine. Polytextile. Industrial workbench. What can I make here? Probably only works off of what's in my inventory. Yeah, more polytextile. Well, I'm going to wait until I know exactly what I need. Helmet display. Shock troop space helmet. Oh, Already damn cold here. Going to need a hot cup of coffee after this. Well, glad you got your spacesuit on. I need to craft some bandages somehow. Sorry, Sarah. <laughs> you all right? Well, it's only a novice. And this is great. This one is for the top only. So we know that goes there. This is likely going to be for the top. Oh, no. Right there. Boom. And then this is going to be for the bottom only. Right there. Whoops. What's that noise? Okay, this can be used for both. All right, so we're gonna have to put that there. But this is for the top only. Which means we can't use it for that. So, we have to use that for the top, which means we have to use that for the top. If this is for the middle, or the bottom, we have to use that there. There's no other combination that works, except that, which means this needs to go there. Okay. Space Adept Old Earth Pistol. 
What is this? Again, with the space adept legendary effect, less than useful, but a 45 caliber pistol. Is that the bleeding out sound effect? Calibrated rattler. Merc helmet. Uh, Zartet says the low beeping you heard was your watch. You have a limited time in extreme environments before your suit can no longer protect you. I see. Thank you, Zartath. Cleansed in Fire says, say what you want about the voice acting, but we all remember the script and voice acting for basically all of the Dark Pictures games. That's true. I mean, when compared, that that is absolutely true. Ray Engineering Outfit uh, gives me bonuses to everything, except I lose a lot on physical there. Hey, Mining Monthly Issue 01 permanently increases tool grip weapon damage by 2%. Okay, well, I'm glad we came here. Got some goodies. Back out we go. Ready for that? Watch out for mine. Okay, in we go. Alarm? No. Don't want them to know I'm here. Oh! Don't come any closer. Identify yourself. We could say I'm, uh, my name is Oxhorn. I'm not here to hurt you. Are you okay? Or I'm with the constellation Vladimir Saul sent me to find you. Ah, oh, good. I suppose I should have guessed. It has been too long since I checked in. I'm just glad we found you unharmed, Andresia. Vladimir and I were worried. You are the newest member, yes? Do they often send you to check up on other, more senior members? Ooh, she had to rub that in our face that she's a senior member. <laughs> so far, not terribly uh, liking Andrea. Zarteth says, in this planet's case, it's very cold. Too much exposure and you risk frostbite. The watch has different colored circles for environmental risks. I see. Thank you. Looks like maybe they had good reason or I'm just doing what I was asked or I'm sure they meant well. Let's try that. <laughs> I suppose. And yet you are here. Instead of checking up on Barrett or Noel, We waste time. We should complete our mission and then we can talk. All right, I've got a temporary companion. She's following me. We need to find the artifact on Procyon 3. Varun Zealot. Always worth checking. Never know what you might find in their pockets. Okay, wh where did Sarah go? Ooh, Sarah disappeared. So I couldn't have two. This is a plot-driven companion. Should we search for mineral deposits while we're down here? Oh, there she is. Okay, good. For a minute there, I thought that she disappeared. I get both. That's great. And once again, we are triumphant. I love this little thing. Calibrated Solstice Heart Plus. Hey. Robot control interface status inactive. We could uh, first update the friend foe settings. Note, be sure to carefully read the user manual before changing friend foe settings for combat-capable robots. Current IFF settings standard. Uh, we could remove combat inhibitors, or we could recalibrate friend foe, friend foe settings. IFF settings were calibrated to protect current user. There we go. Then we can activate units. Hey, all right. 
Industrial Robot Model A. Well, we are encumbered, so Sarah. Hey. Want to see what I'm carrying? Uh, you're carrying a lot already, but I've been picking up all sorts of stuff. Let's see. It'd be fun to use this in combat. I haven't done that yet. Um, let's give her the Orion, the Old Earth Pistol. And that's about it. Really? I am. What am I weighed down by? Maybe all my notes. Or maybe my aid. Alien Scramble. That's about half a pound right there. Miscellaneous? Yeah, I still have all this. Okay. Well, I think we're good. We've got 10 pounds of leeway. So long. Okay, let me try playing with the advanced AA. Just because I haven't used it in combat yet. Please proceed with caution. There is heavy machinery operating in this area. They push me into the pipe so that I miss my shot, and then they jump down there. Neva's directive. Cowards. Listen up, you degenerate group of low lives. Yeah, now I got your attention. This is Nava. I might not know all you, but you sure as hell know me. I'm the oil that keeps our machine running. And guess what? The machine is about to get bigger. We got solid info that the labs and bases left over from the colony war are all pretty much still functional. Didn't we hear this Abandoned, already? but intact. That means the Crimson Fleet it's new hidey holes all across. We heard that already. So these Crimson Fleet guys are running around with multiples of the same holotape. Which I suppose is supposed to explain why they are here to begin with. Oh, come on. Hear that? Hostile targets. Ooh, long way down. Hello. Okay, lots to explore here. Let's see. Don't want to get turned around. I've only got one shell left. Or one round left in that particular gun. Well, it's uh, oh, snake oil. <laughs> it's uh, a really powerful gun, but the ammunition I think is pretty rare. Let's see what's down here. It's the opposite direction from our quest marker, so this should be a dead end with loot and not an advancement of the plot. Weapon workbench. Uh, authentic manifold and a monopropellant, and I'm encumbered again. God. I think you may be trying to take a little too much on. 
Literally. Yeah, I think I am too. Can I help? Let's see what you've got. All right, let's try giving her my miscellaneous items. Whoops. Let me get... Um, let me get my digipix back. And then let's give her resources. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, that's on the razor leaf. Okay. Hold on. Have something for me? Let me finish giving her my resources. She's full. Bye for now. But that did the trick for a moment. Okay, there's a pipe over there, and there, I thought I saw something on the other side of that pipe when we looked through the hole. I'll have to check it out when we get close to that. Titanium Rescue Axe! Seventeen physical damage. Disassembler, 20% damage against robots. Staggering, small chance to stagger enemies. Titanium build. Premium build materials make this weapon light as a feather. 17 physical damage. Compared to my 16 combat knife. Well, it also has, uh, no, it's got shattering. Break through even the toughest armor. Med theft. Drops med packs on death. Anti-personnel. Okay, this actually might be better. It does one point of damage left, but all three of those are going to be useful against all enemies except robots. Whereas this has one that's only good against robots, whereas the other two are good against anyone. Eh, I'll stick with the combat knife for now. Bad People, Bad Jokes 3, we read that. Best not to leave anything useful behind. They're just gonna keep on talking to me, aren't they? Every time I loot. What is that? I can't touch that. <laughs> Explorers Orion. We've already got an Orion.
Meet your death! Okay, clearly more guys down there. We heard gunfire. But I think we're far enough away to risk a light. Ah. those burn. Oh, look at them. They're way up there. All right, give me the lawgiver. I need something a little beefy. Take your best shot. Come on, peek out. Dude's got incendiary rounds. Give up already. I don't know if that guy was just beefy or if my aim was way off. Did they have anything of value? Okay, authorized personnel only. Can we get down there with this? Don't tell me we have to jump. Can I turn this on? Wait, no, this is the way we came, right? No, it's not.
expert. Where are that? Okay, sorry about that tricky one. Let's see, this is gonna be for all of them. All of them. All of them. None of them. The top and bottom. The top and bottom. The bottom only. Top and bottom. All of them. Rod. Okay. That works. And that works. Still some overlap. So we'll use this for the top. There. Which leaves... This can work on the top and bottom as well. So if that's there, I've got one overlap, but if I move this over there, I've got one overlap as well. If I move that there, I've got two overlaps. So maybe I use this for the top. If I do that there, then I need a single. Nope, that gives me some overlap there for the top. Oh, God, why? So this doesn't work at the bottom for any of them. Does it? It does. Yeah, I could put that there. But that's the problem. That's why I didn't use that there. I've got one for the bottom only, and I've got overlap there. But if I do that, No overlap. But I'm also missing one. No. All right, so I have to use this one on the bottom. This works on the bottom, but this one doesn't work on the top, and this one overlaps the one on the bottom. Unless, oh, that don't, doesn't work, doesn't work, doesn't work, doesn't work. So I need to use this on the top. <clears throat> and then I could uh, use this up there, and that covers it. So we've got the top covered. <clears throat> we've got all but uh, three covered for the bottom. And if I can get three, no, oh, but there's none that has three. That's the problem. If I use this on the bottom, I need one, two, three, four, five. I need five. Now one, two, three, four. I need four. So one. Nope. Yep, two, three, four. <clears throat> but then that won't work because that's got overlap. Okay. 
<laughs> Wait, I could, uh, I could put that there without overlap, and that does the bottom. Okay, so top, top, I'm gonna risk it. We've got bottom, bottom, which means the rest can be used for the middle. So let's try that. And nope, too wide. Need something narrower. Or we don't use this at all. That's also wide. So these are essentially the same. That's directly across, which means we could use that. Ah. Boom pop, black licorice. Calibrated deep recon balanced pack. Looks nice, but everything is worse than what I've got. Okay. Hmm. Alright, that goes down to the quest marker. But where... Get in. Hello. I've been here. No. Oh, it's there! Dog on it! <laughs> She's coming back. Hey, fitness! Yay! Finally! Now that reminds me, I've got a point to spend, don't I? I really want to put it in hacking. Uh, I need one more. I need to pick one more lock, and then I can get to the next level of hacking, which is what I think I want to save up for. Um, I haven't done any persuasion this broadcast. I could put it into stealth. Or now I could put it into fitness, and this is just going to, let's see, the next rank, 20% more oxygen available. I'm going to save it. Let me pick one more lock, and then I can get the next level of lock picking. I'm going to need that for my storytelling. Right. Back where we were, almost. All right, we explored there, we explored there, now down here. Okay. Two paths, staircase over there, staircase going down there to the ground, and we can explore all of that ground 
But we need to go there, that way. And there's no way up to that platform from the ground. So that means we can access it from there only, which means if we're going to explore this down section, this floor section, we need to go down here now. Hey, what's this? Water? Do I need water? What does your scanner reveal? I guess so. Blue color off work hat. Modified Grendel. Take the ammunition. Credits and toxin. I think I don't need it. I don't think I need a toxin. I mean, I haven't needed to buy ammo yet. Like, I'm doing well on ammo. Soba multi pack. Ooh, big cave. Oh, do we go down into the deep, dark cave? Yes, we do. What monster will, fi will we find down here? Oh, nothing. Oh, slightly disappointing. Well, we found uh, copper. My minor instincts are coming out. I'm gonna stop everything just so I can mine some ore. Okay, we're going counterclockwise here, and we need to go this way now. Ooh. Oh. Well, maybe I was wrong. Maybe that pathway did not lead over there. After all, and we go from here. Yeah, it looks that way. So we gotta go through that cave to follow the quest marker. But here's where the elevator starts. Looks like we can't get it back up and running. So let's go back to the staircase and go back up so we can explore this platform over here. Wait, did we come down there? Oh, this is gonna be where the other side of the platform lets out. I see. Okay. Well, we can explore from this section. There's the elevator. Oh. Oh, oh, oh crap. Oh. Need a moment to walk that off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to figure it out. Just give me a second. Okay, so I gotta drop just enough. There we go. Switch. Nothing? After all that? Come on! Oh man! I parkoured my way in here and nothing happens. All right, I'll just leave it switched just in case. Okay. And to this platform over here. So the other staircase did not I'll let here. you rummage through here. A Berserker Osmium Dagger. Immobilizer, what's, a, what's an immobilizer? Oh. Treats dis dislocated limb, fractured limb, fractured skull, sprain, and torn muscle. The British guy TBG became a bronze ox. Thank you, the British guy. Hey, and I updated my scavenging. Golden mercury. Never know when we might need some of that. Digi pick. I'll take it. Okay, so that's this platform. But it wraps around over here. No, but that's not where it came from. Right. 
Let's go the long way just to make sure we're not missing anything. No other way up here but this staircase. If you need help carrying any of this, you just let me know. You're encumbered. I don't know why you're asking. Or why, why you're offering. So then if this goes back down to the ground... Oh. That was that staircase. Okay, that was the path that we saw from either side. Which means... We go this way to continue. Bummed I couldn't get that elevator working. And there it is! Kill you, Mike. So I don't know if this is a rare resource or not. But to my knowledge, I've only seen it spawn around these artifacts, so I'm getting as much of it as I can, because I don't want to have to come back here. Tricky one. Number, what is this, six? You are back. You did not respond when I called to you after you pulled out the artifact. Does that mean Barrett's theory and experience were correct? The artifact grants the first person who touches it a vision? I don't want to talk about it. Just count yourself lucky you didn't have to do that yourself. Yes. Not, not that I've been able to make any sense of them. The fact that it has happened to both you and Barrett is already more than we had before. I think it is important that we discuss what you saw back there. That man. What I had done. I mean, we just killed a whole bunch of people together. I'm not going to be all upset at you killing one spacer. <clears throat> Not really comfortable having a conversation about it. I bet he deserved it. It was either you or him, right? It was, yes. I appreciate that you see it that way. A very practical outlook, not one I find is shared amongst members of Constellation. May I ask what your background is? Soldier? Oh man, I don't have a soldier check? I chose soldier as my background, and when she asks about it, I can't say that I'm a soldier. It's not really any of your business. I've done all sorts of things, or I was a minor Argos extractors. Argos. I have heard of this company. Small, reckless. 
Interesting. I do not have experience with this profession, but I have my own experiences with... <sighs> risk. We both seem to be... unusual additions to Constellation. Please, I would ask that you not mention to Vladimir the... circumstances in which you found me. This is not the first time that... Varun zealots have attempted to corner me. If it is known that this has happened again... Hmm. Well, it has been a while since I was given an assignment on my own. I would not want it to be... even longer in the future. Do you understand? Yeah, I get it. He sort of looks after you and he's uh, a bit overprotective. Sure, sure, I understand. But it's interesting that she fought two Varun zealots at the very entrance to the mine. But we fought spacers deeper in. Or no, it was Crimson. It was Crimson. It was the Crimson guys, not Varun zealots. Uh, Varun zealots? You are unfamiliar. This is a surprise. Few have not heard of them. They are fanatics, having taken the teachings of House Varun and twisted them into a belief that the galaxy must be wiped clean before the Great Serpent's return. So, in this I would say I have done the galaxy a favor. They've come after you before? Yes. It would seem they have not yet learned how much it will cost them. But then that is their fundamental problem, is it not? An inability to see anything other than the path which they have created for themselves. <clears throat> now I feel like I need to say something to Vladimir. I'm not making any promises, or you've got it, mum's the word. Mum? This means we are in agreement. Thank you. That is good to know. I will finish here and return to New Atlantis when I can. You should go now, as they will be expecting us. Okay. Can I fast travel to the ship from here, or do I gotta walk back through all that? Spaceship debris. Ooh. Well. Maybe later. Well, that was fun. Now what? We go back. All right. Let's see what's out there. Stay in orbit or jump. Your call. Let's... Power up the grab drive. And let's see, we need to go back to Vladimir, I guess. So we're not going back to Vladimir. Okay, what's this? A Freestar Mule. Oh. Maybe Vladimir's gonna meet us back at the launch. Garrett on Facebook says, Ox, look under the physical skill tree. You would probably want to work towards the concealment perk. It's 
Spend nine more points in physical to unlock master physical skills. Few skills capture the imagination like the ability to remain undetected, used by assassins, special forces operatives, and simple thieves alike for centuries. All right, so this is going to improve my, um, my stealth. Did I unlock? No, I need to hack one more, and then I can get the next level of security. Every time I return here, I'm reminded of the importance of Constellation's contributions to exploration. Let's do a hard save. It's been a while since we've done that. All right, looks like that's your service, Captain. We were worried. Why? Was there concern that I would not contribute to the mission? No, of course not. We thought you might be hurt. Oh, I then... Thank you, but it was not <laughs> necessary. We succeeded. She is so sensitive. Okay. Let's place the artifacts. Look at you two. I'm jealous. I tried following up on some leads myself, but came back empty-handed. They could be anywhere, can't they? Embedded in a rock? Or in the hands of an unsuspecting novelty goods trader? Well, they're not going to show us the two new artifact pieces reassemble? Uh, which leads were you following? A couple of scans from the eye. But it looks like you got there first. Shame on me for taking the scenic route, huh? Gotcha, beat. Three artifacts to your zero. <laughs> Let's just go. These artifacts really are something else. I catch myself just staring at the collection sometimes, wondering what it all means. Maybe that's how our ancestors felt when they were looking up at the stars for the first time. They didn't just gawk at the stars, Mateo. They explored. They tested. Science brought us to space, not daydreaming. I disagree. What's the point of science if not to enable humanity's dreams? And where do those dreams come from? Not every dream is a pleasant one. I agree with Noel. The work is what moves us forward. You're with me, right? Science or dreams? Which one is the true muse of space exploration? Is this really pos important? Why are we having this discussion? Um, we could say, oh no, I'm not taking sides between you two. Dreams, without them, science has no meaning. Or science, without it, dreams aren't possible. They're both important, okay? Uh, but I, if I had to choose one, I would say that it was looking up at the night sky that inspired people to pursue science to discover what was out there. So I'm going to go dreams. Exactly. We can't forget what really makes us human. Genes and evolution are what made us human, Mateo. Both of you clearly need to go back to school. Dreams are wonderful, but they don't pay for Helium-3. Constellation's bank account can attest to that. You know what? I just realized I completely overtook this whole conversation. This should be about you and Andresia celebrating a win for the group. I do not mind being asked to join in a debate. It was good to hear everyone's sides. It's a boring debate. But I debate. do agree that we accomplished something together. Thank you for your help. And apparently I chose the wrong option because Barrett disliked what I said. I'm just glad to be home, or I'm not sure I trust you yet, Andrea, or, and for yours, I'd be happy to keep traveling with you. I have no objections. Let us see what else we can find out there. Noel, pulling some interesting data from those new artifacts. Tell the Rook to meet me back on board the station. Roger that, Vladimir. He's on his way. Back to Vladimir for the station. Cool. Right, right. Uh, so now we have Andrea as an active companion. Let's we'll talk to Vasco, because he helps with shields, right? I hope right? you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. I am at your service, Captain. I could use you on my crew, Vasco. Captain, I will proceed to my assigned post. Okay, let's... Uh... Where's Vasco? Oh, here we go. Let's assign him. Okay, so let's unassign Lynn and Heller. Let's assign Vasco to the Razor Leaf. 
Let's assign Barrett to the Razor Leaf, I guess. And Andrea is my companion, so I don't need to assign her. And we've got Sarah assigned to the ship. She's still our companion, right? Is something amiss? Well, we can talk to her. Uh, do you mind if I ask you some personal questions? You do not need to ask me if you may ask. You may just ask. What do you like to do with your free time? Honestly, I... I cannot answer that. So many years have been driven by survival in intense circumstances. Leisure time has... It's been in short supply. And I suppose I have conditioned myself to not think about it much. I do enjoy combat training, though I suppose that is hardly the answer you are looking for. You have given me something to consider. Thank you for that. Do you ever want to captain your own ship? I have done so in the past, when necessary. But I am not the best pilot, and it seems prudent to apply my skills where they are most useful. Lately, that means aiding you. And that, I think, has worked out very well. What's your favorite place in the settled systems? <sighs> you might find it absurd, but honestly, the Lodge. I have never been surrounded by such a remarkable group of people, present company included. It has been a very long time since I have been someplace that could possibly feel like... home. There are worlds beyond count out there, but... That feeling is rare and precious. That's all for now. I enjoy the conversation. <laughs> okay, uh, that's it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yep. Hello, Captain. Okay, so we do have this guy that we need to talk with. Um, but according to our quest log here, um... <laughs> I'll be out in a bit. Okay, my son says hi to everybody. We need to talk to Vladimir again to work on Into the Unknown. Chad is telling me I should do The Empty Nest, which they say is pretty short. That's to talk to Sam Coe, and I want to do that. Let's finish Into the Unknown, though. I think this will finish it. I'm not sure. We definitely need to talk to Sam Coe to continue. And then I want to go to Luna before we end the broadcast to see the landing of the Apollo site. So, let's go to Vladimir. Hey, you might want this. Oh, they're going to come they're going to keep on giving me stuff. as a bell. Eyes ready to let you aboard. Do I really have to do this every time I want to dock with this station? And you didn't even scratch the paint. Thank you, Sarah. Hi. Please disregard. I attempted an informal greeting, but I am dissatisfied <laughs> with the results. <laughs> it's okay, Vasco. You did great. Nice informal human greeting. Now that those artifacts aren't just blips of hope in the Blackest Sea, I found an interesting pattern. The grav anomaly generated by one of those artifacts? It matches one on another planet. A bigger one. How did we not notice this before? 
This one has been in my list of possible artifact sites for a while, but the profile didn't quite match. Now that we've got more artifacts, the similarities are as clear as day. That doesn't make sense. The artifacts are roughly the same, uh, similar in size. The ones we found, anyway. No telling what this is, but you can feel that excitement in the air, can't you? It's something important. Going to send you the mark close as I can, but I'm having trouble pinpointing the source. You'll need to explore the area on foot. Put your scanner to work. Don't know what you'll find. Keep your eyes open. So I need to search the whole planet for this thing? No. Just need to follow your scanner to the real destination. Might be a boot journey, but that's the explorer's lot sometimes. <clears throat> You'd think something so big would be easy to find. Or land near the anomaly. Use my scanner. Got it. And from there, maybe you catch a smile and uncover the source of it all. Catch a smile? Sure. Okay, well that didn't complete Into the Unknown. We're on the next part of it, so maybe... We'll do Sam's Co Sam Coe's quest, especially if it's short. But I'm running out of time for today's broadcast, so before we end, let's go to the Soul System. Let's go to Earth's Moon. And let's find the Apollo Landing Site. This will be fun. Ugh. Is everyone okay? What was that all about? Visit the Apollo landing site on Luna. Land. And there it is. Alright, I don't want to disturb the footprints. I'm sure the footprints have been here for hundreds of years now. I don't want to ruin them. And there it is. Though, it would be bleached white by now. The solar radiation would have bleached it white, so... That's not realistic. But, there's the lunar... The lunar lander. Can we go in? Well, there it is. Hey, Apollo Snow Globe! Yeah, got it. One small step for me. Oh yeah, that's me, I'm on the moon. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, I gotta have a, I gotta have a pose right next to this. Could you get out of my shot, please, Andrea? Man. Okay, let's see if I can get rid of her. Show player. Pose. Boxer. Cower. Hands on hips. Jump. Kneeling. Sit on ground. Sneak. Wave. What's up? Two hands on hips.
Gosh, Andrea. Oh, what is that? There's a moon base here. Apollo landing site explored. I wonder what that moon base is. Well, let's do a hard save. I'm all out of time, and uh, the dogs need me. So I'm going to go ahead and let the puppies outside and greet the kids, make sure everybody's got snacks, and uh, then start working on dinner. Thanks for coming, everybody, to today's broadcast of Starfield. I had an absolute blast this broadcast. We went uh, extra long. What was it? Uh, six hours and 20 minutes for today's broadcast. That's going to mean those of you who have been catching up are going to have quite some uh, some time to catch up, but uh, it's worth it. It's, I'm having a, a great time with this game. Hopefully you are as well. Tomorrow is Thursday. That means it's uh, time for another live stream. I haven't decided if I'm going to do a regular Scotch and Smoke Rings with uh, a scary game. We were uh, playing at Dead of Night, which was really fun. Uh, but of course, we paused that when Starfield came out just to, uh, you know, capitalize on the release and all of that. Haven't decided if I'm going to go ahead with Dead of Night or continue with Starfield. Maybe I'll do both. Don't know yet. Either way, we're going to have a great time tomorrow. Um, make sure that you show on up. So have a wonderful rest of your day. Get some rest and I'll see you tomorrow with some more lore videos or more live streams. Bye bye now.